Live, bringing you the latest topics in cinema. Plus, welcome to Levels of Geeks Live, bringing you the latest topics in cinema. Plus, jokes, interactions, and more. You're home to all things entertainment. And now, your host of Levels of Geeks Live, Alex and me. Welcome, everyone, to a brand new episode of Levels of Geeks Live. I'm your host, Alex Figueroa. My co host is Nate from Netflix Reviews. Yes, Nate. How's it? It's been a yeah. week, man. It's been a, a, a long. Ooh. Week we introduced two new shows to the to the Dang. lineup. Yeah, it's been especially long week for you. <laughs> more, <laughs> more than for me, like it's been a, yeah. a, a, a say a regular long week for me, but it's been an extremely long week for you. Yeah, man, it's been a it's been a long freaking week. But anyway, yeah. we added two new shows to the lineup, and, and again, thank you so much to everyone that's giving us positive reviews, whether it's the horror hour with me and Ralph on Fridays or the that morning, uh, Good Morning Gotham. So again, thank you so much to everyone um, for giving us the positive on those two um, shows. Uh, but Nate, yeah. it's been a while, man. How you been? Give me how you yeah, been. man. Um, yeah, I've been good. I, I had a um, why did I do this week? This weekend was interesting. Saturday. A little more out and about day, and then uh, so yesterday I did nothing. All I did was watch movies. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you saw I posted a, I would post on my story when I put the movie in, and then I wrote reviews. You know, I I love um, there. Has, I haven't seen too many new theatrical movies, so I haven't been able to write for the site. I'm, you know, I like to write theatrical reviews for the website. Uh, so these first time watches, I like doing the little Instagram reviews. I kind of gotten away from it, so I did four reviews, mm. um, four first time watches. My new goal, uh, just if anybody's wondering, my new goal is to watch the movies that I have in my collection that I've never watched, right? Like I spent money on these movies and I never put them in. So I'm kind of going through, um, I'm only watching what we review for the show and movies I've never seen. And then I'm going to decide if I want to keep them or, you know, trade them in or sell them or whatever. So, um, but yeah, that's my goal. So I did four movies yesterday. I ate some wings. Uh, I ate some. What else did I eat? I went out to eat twice in one, in one day. I didn't. I, all I the only time I left the house was to go eat, uh, and then I came back and watched movies. So it was a nice weekend. It was relaxing. You were very busy though. I did check out your guys' show. Very good job. But both shows. I watched both shows. Yeah. Um, thank you. But yeah, awesome. Yeah, no, it's been a long weekend, and yesterday I texted you. I was like, man, I'm shutting my yeah. brain off. I was too much <laughs> yeah, in the Matrix. Were, <laughs> I yeah, was you were like, beat. that's it, I'm done. <laughs> yeah, I, I was yeah. really beat. When I text you that, that means I'm really, I'm I'm depleted. Um, right. But I watched four new movies. I watched V from nice. Vendetta, which I didn't know what the hell was going on, but it was a good movie. Um, <laughs> I watched, uh, what did we watch? Oh, My Bloody said, Valentine. Uh, my Bloody Valentine, yeah. I enjoyed that one a lot. And then we kicked it off with The Blob. With uh, Kevin Dillon. 80s? The 80s? Okay, 80s, the 80s, 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 80s. Yeah, 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 that one. I liked that one. I liked that one a lot. It was really gory. Yeah, 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 it was. Um, But those were pretty cool. That's what we did over the weekend. Um, nice. But again, let's get right into the Patreons, and then you get right into this damn yeah. show. Um, Patreons, right. Pablo LaFrosia, Jonathan McCoy, Priscilla Vasquez, Charles Woods, I'll Buy the Popcorn, Stephanie, Jay Manley, Becklish, Kevin, and happy birthday to our man, Robert Makes the Cut. Uh, hey, ha yeah, happy, happy birthday, birthday to you, man. Um, but yeah, so let's say what's up to everyone that's with us live, and then we get right in with the show because we got a pretty good show today. Yeah. Um, today's topics, everyone's like, "What the hell's a nostalgia trigger?" They want to know why did I pick that as a as a thing, and you're gonna see why when I when we get to that point in the show. Um, again, unboxing with me. What's up, Jose? How you doing, Ralph? How you doing? Uh, surfing through cinema. How you doing? Tony Movie Chappie is here with us. Jay Manley, uh, BX Lenny's. Um, I think that's pretty much it, right? Yeah, still got people trickling in. Yeah, still yeah, got people, still, still got people coming in and out. They, they still mm -hmm. people show up through the night. But again, thank you so much, everyone that's with us live, and everyone for the patrons. Also, all right, so let's get right into the actual uh, main topic. Everyone's going to think I'm yeah. going to get on the soapbox and, and, and scream to the heavens at Warner Brothers. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> um, I already did that with Nate behind the screen, uh, behind the scenes, and we had I a good chuckle. I for you guys. Yeah, we yeah. had a nice laugh. We had a good chuckle. <laughs> all right, so let's get right into the main, uh, to the actually, in the first topic, I'm going to pull up the, the time because, you know, here we rock the time. Um, That's right. So we get things PTI moving. PTI style. Yeah, PTI style, get things moving. All right, so here we go. Let me reset the clock. 
All right, and then we're going to start it, and bam. So first things first, Warner Brothers, uh, Warner Brothers, uh, Marvel Studios congratulate the Avatar team because they passed them in the box office. Did you know that? So I saw this, yeah. and I was a little confused because mm -hmm. Avatar, highest grossing movie of all time. Then Avengers, what, well, Endgame, I think it was, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, Endgame. That passed mm -hmm. it worldwide. Where in the world is Avatar playing that it came back out did it like reopen in China or something? Absolutely, like, dootly. It, it reopened. <laughs> <laughs> it reopened okay. in China. And it That's made it. an China. extra, it made a staggering, bringing its total to a staggering $2.7 billion. It made $8.9 in additional revenues in China, bro, on a re-release. Oh, my gosh. That's China, man. You know, they... They just ruin everything. Yeah. I'm just kidding. Don't, you know, don't get mad at me, China. I'm just you, kidding. You know they, what? Uh, you know. <laughs> I, I'm going to say. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> It came from China. It came, oh, that's messed up. <laughs> and, and, and you know what's crazy, though? Just to let everyone know, guess what? Yeah. Endgame is going to be re-released soon. Oh, yeah. Air. You know they're going to try to get that number one spot again with, like, an additional two minutes of Tony Stark's dying. He's gonna play that. But you know who the real winner here is? Who? Disney, because they own, <laughs> Both they own Marvel and Fox. So it doesn't matter who goes to see it or which one's on top because Mickey Mouse is the real winner in yep. all of this. You know, what they, you, know what, you know what they saw? The minute the minute they saw the numbers for China, they all went, Yeah, baby! <laughs> I like it. Mickey came out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they brought salsa Mickey out. They brought salsa Mickey. Out. <laughs> they brought Mickey from the other, uh, from the Mickey uh, from the block, man. Mickey he from the block <laughs> from, from South Bronx. He was out there. Mickey he from the block with the with the guayabero. <laughs> um, Absolutely. so yeah, um, yeah, it made a staggering two. Po All right, so this is the actual numbers. There's sure. a lot of numbers. Okay, two. A uh, billion seven hundred and ninety-eight million five hundred and seventy-nine thousand seven hundred and ninety-four dollars. That's okay. A lot. What of is Endgame at? Do we have? Do we? Do we know that? The Endgame. I don't have Endgame numbers. I'm sorry. Okay. I should have pulled that. That's up. okay. That's all right. I just um, want to know what's like. I know it repassed it, but it only made eight million. So I mean, it had to be pretty close anyway. Like if if Avengers makes like. Seven more million on re-release. Did it pass it again? Like, yeah. well, how much did it pass it by? Let me see. Um, I'll, I'll pull that up for you. I want to know. Yeah. So I want to know how much because at the end of the day, you're, like I said, Disney's gonna say, "Hey, uh, we got this other property. China clearly want to go to the movies. The Chinese people want to see some movies. They are going to re-release Avengers: Endgame in China for eight million dollars more." And it will then, and they're just going to keep doing this at all time battle so that no other movie passes either one. All right, so this is the numbers that I got now. Okay. It has two billion seven hundred and ninety seven million eight hundred thousand five hundred sixty four dollars. It only passed it by a million. Yeah. So they, this is definitely <laughs> Avengers. Endgame is definitely going to come out. <laughs> it's going to come out like in Australia and like and like pass it with an extra million dollars. Good day, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Two you know, in New Zealand. Zealand. <laughs> you know, you know, in New Zealand, everything's open. They don't even have COVID anymore. There they don't you wear go. masks. Nothing. You're going to open it in New Zealand. They're going to make a million dollars and be like, uh, Avatar team is going to congratulate Avengers for beating it again. And then Avatar is going to come out in New Zealand. And then Avengers going to come out in China. And they're going to keep battling each other. Until no movie, like I said, no movie will ever pass either one of these. I, I, you know, maybe if ticket prices become fifty dollars and then everyone goes to see something, maybe like a an Avatar two or something. But uh, I don't know. What are you guys thinking? Uh, leave a comment down below. What do you guys think of the <laughs> stupidity of these two crazy. Disney? Yeah, these two <laughs> Disney movies going back to back now in terms of money. Um, all right, let me go. It'll be really the hilarious if yeah. right when Avatar passed it, they stopped the screenings. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, like, all right, that was the last one. No more, no more. We just wanted to pass Avengers. No more, no more, no more viewers. That's it. No, that would be hilarious. Oh my god! All right, so let me see what people are saying here about this. Um, yeah. also the new trailer for the Falcon Winter Soldier. Uh, not this guy. Uh, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> James Paris says just joined, but I'm waiting for the Endgame re-release. Okay. Okay. Surfing through. It's cinema. gonna happen. 
Yeah, it's going to happen. Uh, Surfing Through Cinema says, I bet they did that to spark interest in Avatar again for when the new one comes out next year. But wouldn't they do that in the United States? <laughs> like, why China? <laughs> uh, unless China coming... probably got more theaters open, maybe. Maybe it blew up. It wasn't like international. Those numbers were like oh, ridiculous. It made all the money. Yeah, yeah. most of its money is international. Both okay. movies. Most of it's international. Absolutely. Uh, Wacker Butcher. Hey, what's up, Wacker Butcher? He says Avatar was the biggest news fest I ever seen. <laughs> 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 I never seen the movie, so I can't even. You've never hear. seen Avatar? Nah. Bro, we. Okay. Mm-hmm. We got to do it for oh, the man. action movie guys. No, listen. <laughs> oh, listen. I I don't even like Avatar, okay. but we have got to do it because it will get a 4 or 5 out of 5 in action and I just want to know what you think of everything else. <laughs> yeah. the, rest, the rest of it is where who knows what what could happen, but okay. it looks great. I mean, we'll James do it Cameron for like just, a He got style. We'll do it for James Cameron month. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. sounds good. Okay, so James Perry says I didn't like Avatar the first time. Uh, it was an okay average movie at best. Avatar through two, three, four, and five seems like it's gonna suck. <laughs> two, three, yeah. four, five, six, seven, ten. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, unboxing. Unboxing says that the End Game deserves number one movie in the box office. Why does it deserve it? Like, yeah, what? why what does it, it need des- to? It deserve- no movie deserves <laughs> no <to make> three <laughs> yeah. billion dollars. But what they do. is, you know, technically. Yeah. If you really want to put it, Gone with the Wind is the number one movie of all time. If you put the, if you put ticket like the sold. ticket set, yeah, ticket sold yeah. with our inflation, Gone mm-hmm. with the Wind would blow everybody out the water. Yeah. Um, so more tickets were sold for that movie, but you know the tickets cost a nickel. Yeah, back, back then, then, yeah. Now they're uh, thirty dollars to see it in IMAX, three D, four D, five D, you know, with ticklers and stuff. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Robert makes the cut. Says, "Can I get a whatever from the soundboard?" Oh, of course, you're the birthday boy today. Whatever. 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 <laughs> I love that. I love that clip. It's so funny. <laughs> I don't know, whatever. Uh, let's yeah. say Bronx Lenny says, "I think people just want to do stuff they haven't done in a year. So if you build it, they will come." I, I, I guess. Don't disagree with that. Yeah, I mean, I guess. Uh, Wacker Butcher said, wasn't Avatar in the theaters for like a whole year when it was out? I think it was out for like a year and a half. No, no. It was right? out for... Like it was months? out. It, I remember it opened in December of t- 2007, and it was out for like maybe five months, which nowadays five months is a long run. You yeah. Know, you usually get like two or three, and then you're out of there. You're on video by f- the fourth month. Um, I saw it in the theater in IMAX 3D, and I honestly can say it was an experience. I, I won't lie. It was visually at the time. You got to remember this is 14 years ago at this point. You know what I mean? Nothing looked like it. Nothing. I will give it that. But the movie itself, it is just a copy of, if you ever seen Fern Gully, then you've seen Avatar. If you've ever seen Dances with Wolves, then you've seen Avatar. It's, it's a very basic story with a bad script. But visually, I won't lie. It was an experience. And I think people had never seen anything like it. So that's why right. they went to see it three and four and five times. You know what? It's funny because I was trying to look for the numbers of how long it stood in the box office, and I yeah. can't find it. It's crazy. I mean, it says it 34 weeks. It said 34 weeks. I'm looking here. It says 34 <laughs> weeks, but it had to be I longer than that, right? I mean, well, four, four weeks in a month. I mean, that's like nine months or eight months. So, I mean, that's eight and a half months, I think. That's yeah. a long time. Here goes one thing. It says, look, Avatar officially remained in theaters for 34 weeks. Now that includes the theaters that picked up films the second time around. Oh, yeah. So Okay, okay so uh, I think it was, honestly, I think it was about five or six months initial run. And the only, the only movie recent that I could think of that had a similar run was Black Panther. You remember Black Panther was still in the top ten in the box office when uh, Infinity War came out. And mm-hmm. it was like months later. So, uh, 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 what was it? Force Awakens? Force Awakens was in the theater for, till yeah. May. Came out in December, was out there till May, so... All right, so I'm gonna you know, I'm, I'm take one. Them. I'm gonna take one more here. Uh, James yeah. Paris says Regal reopens with Marvel Marathon, all twenty movies, and and then Black Widow Endgame becomes number one again. Oh, that's pretty much actually accurate. If they do that, it that might way. happen. I'm yeah, going that to might that, happen. By the way, if it happens, I know you will with Mad Tacos. Well, we'll do. We'll do. Uh, we will do a live uh, live tweeting. Not I don't tweet, but uh, we'll live Instagram it. And then I'll write reviews for the website of my experience. Oh, that'd it's be like pretty cool. 4 a.m. Someone really stinks in here. Yeah. I, <laughs> no I forgot the order in at Someone home. Someone needs a shower. I'm going to find out. We'll be back in 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah, I'll be back. <laughs> um, all right. So with that said, that's the first topic. We're gonna get to, I'm going to set the clock, and we're going to get into this other topic because this one is going to make you 
laugh your ass off. Oh, okay. So here we go. Excited. This is topic number two. Uh, let me just start the time because, oh, this is going to be. Look at us. We are right on 10 minutes. Look yeah, at us. Yeah, we are right on 10 on this one. Uh, where is it? Okay, here we go. And here we go. Charlotte <laughs> Flair is going to be the lead for USA's network, The Walking Tall Reboot. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Yes. Okay. So it says The Walking Tall is getting a rebooted at the U.S. Network from Battlestar Galactica exclusive producer uh, David Elk. Um, Deadline reports that Eric has sold a small screen reboot of the 1973 action movie Walking Tall with WWE superstar Charlotte attached to star Nate and everybody that's watching with us live, what do you guys think of this stupid ass news that dropped today? Uh, I dropped a few days okay. ago, I believe, March fifteenth. Well, today, I'll give, my honest, <laughs> I'll give my honest opinion. I've never seen the original Walking Tall. Never watched it. Okay, I did see the one with the Rock. The Rock okay, and it was okay. It was like it was pretty slight. If I remember correctly, it was only like seventy-five minutes. Like it was pretty short, but it was fine. You know what I mean? It was like a little throwaway movie. It was okay. I love the Rock. I am a fan. <laughs> I do like wrestling. So, Charlotte, she is, I'll tell you one thing, she's tall. <laughs> so, she's going to be idiot. walking tall. She is strutting. She was like that. She, yep, yep. <laughs> she's, a, she's a big old girl. So, I mean, as far as if they're going to do with a female lead, physically, who's better? And I'm being completely honest. Who's better? She's fit. She's tall. She got her look. Blonde hair. You know? I'm okay with that. Will I, am I going to watch this? That's the question. And the answer is no. I'm never going to watch it. But uh, if I'm saying, could they have done a better casting job? Probably not. She's better than Queen Latifah as the equalizer. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> Can't be worse than that. <laughs> I mean, but the only Charlotte difference Flair is, is that... Tall is better. Right, but the only difference is that Queen Latifah could act. Can act? Yeah, I you're never right seen. I, I never Charlotte seen... Yeah, i never seen her act at all. Um, but a lot of people want me... Yeah, she's re oh yeah, she is. She's amazing. She's Everyone the best. wants me to hit them with the whatever. <laughs> I had to hit the whatever. Um, yeah, to, yeah, yeah. We had to. All right, so here we go. Let me go through some chat because this stuff is getting funny now. Um, yeah. so the minute I announced this, uh, BX Lenny said yes, finally. Uh, Trevor <laughs> Gigolo says Charlotte can act. Uh, Transformicon started laughing. Hey, what's up, Transformicon? Tony Movie hey, Chappy says, I don't know how I feel about this. Jose said Lana is her sidekick, right? And they start what? laughing. Uh, oh, God. James Perez says, it kills me that The Walking Tall is based on a true story that ju not just a movie who was a dude and now it's a woman because of reasons. It's Kinda, a dude okay. playing the dude. dude. This guy's another dude. This guy's as a, dude. Dude. Guy has a woman. <laughs> Dude, a woman, dude. Uh, David Flair. Yeah. Oh man, that's messed. She's Is, David that's Flair. Brother? She's David. Wasn't Flair. her brother? No, he's not the dead. One. Yeah, he's not the dead one though. He's alive. He's her. Oh. Charlotte Flair is David Flair. Oh my God. Uh, Trap her Jigolo like says theory. she's not even the best woman wrestler. Oh wait, 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 wait. F wait. False. That's okay, math, you know dude. You what the hell? You lose. Good day, yeah, sir. Get out Stop of it. here. She's not Stop the it. best wrestler. Stop it. What Trevor, the hell? You said Becky is better. No, she's not. No. She's sloppier. Charlotte's <laughs> better. She's a thoroughbred, okay? Charlotte's a horse in that ring. She's the best. If you're talking in-ring wrestler, I don't know. Some people don't watch wrestling, but in-ring, ain't nobody not. better than Charlotte. Oh, ain't nobody God. better than Charlotte. It's a fact. I've said this. I've been to me and my cousin James, who's in the chat here. I go to his house usually for the pay-per-views. We've had many a talk. He knows my stance. Charlotte is the best woman wrestler, honestly, possibly I've ever seen in ring. She just is. She could work with smaller people. She could work with big people. She's the best. I don't believe Becky Lynch against a really big person. I don't believe it. Charlotte, I, anybody, doesn't matter. She, she can take them. She's the Hulk Hogan of women's, well, okay, more technical. She's better than Hulk Hogan. She's like Ric Flair. She's the Ric Flair. Of women's wrestling. Let's call it what Well, it let's is. see. She's James Paris just said, uh, not best on the mic, but in the ring, not sure who might be better. They That's are right. some on par. Okay. Uh, unboxing uh, says. Maybe, but <laughs> no one's better. <laughs> no. Jose says Charlotte is the GOAT. Uh, Chai Burrow's right. laughing, saying uh, sloppy. 
Um, but oh, look, because I said Becky Lynch was sloppy. Yeah, she, yeah. she, she, she kind of is. Her and Sasha, as much as I like them, yeah, they're a little sloppy. They, you know, they they kind of mess up more than Charlotte does. Uh, Charlotte's brutal. She hits hard, a little stiff, but I'm okay. Maybe that's why she got walking tall because she's a little <laughs> stiff. She'd be in there kicking them women right in the chest hard, and I love it. No, no, but so yeah, so look, in terms of this move, this show being rebooted, okay, yeah. um. I don't know, man. I don't know what I think about this. Like, again, I'm not watching it, and I don't even care. But it's kind like of funny. Huh? You like the movie? I own the Walking Talls, like, the six of them. There were, like, six <laughs> of them. Six Walking, walking Talls, taller. the original. Yeah. <laughs> um, but then they have the, the – wa- I've never seen the one with The Rock. I've seen the original. Okay. Um, but, again, I don't know, man, with the Charlotte Flair. It's kind of weird to me. Because, yeah. I mean, it's true what James says. It's a based on a true story, but it's a dude – then they switching it not around. Anymore. Yeah, it's not I mean it's anymore. weird. To me, it's weird. Um, but all right. So, well, this is par for course for USA because USA was back in the day. If you remember, Thunder in Paradise, starring Hulk Hogan. They got this thing. They got to start all these shows with these wrestlers. I used to watch Thunder in Paradise when I was like six when it came out. It was terrible. Um, you know, the USA. They got that deal with WWE. They want to squeeze every amount of you know. Every ounce of wrestling money and talent they can get. I understand it. I don't care because I, I'm not going to watch this ever because I don't even have cable. But uh, good for Charlotte. Get some more yeah, money. No, Wonder if Andrade is going to get a cameo. Yeah. Uh, Tribar Gigolo uh, says uh, Charlotte moves like the T-1000. Yeah. Psych. Yeah. I don't know what T-1000 <laughs> What does he watch? Now. What? <laughs> <laughs> what is he watching? Her entrance re- in- involves like doing a split and a back. And a hands free, she'd be a gymnast. Yeah, I mean, look, like a guys, if you're enjoying this episode so far, please hit the like button. We're new to the channel, <laughs> hit the subscribe button. Um, it's a spicy night, tonight. it's a spicy night. Now, we're gonna get to the, the, the to the main topic before we do the win Nate Stein's movies. Um, hey, because right. that one's gonna be pretty good. Everyone is getting restarted. We're gonna pick random people that's gonna fight Nate, and a lot of people have been hitting me. It's gonna be Triborough. <laughs> Yeah, it's going to fight him. <laughs> Triborough mm-hmm. versus Nate, I guess, is going to be in the docket because these two have been oh, yeah. jabbing all over the, the place with that. But we're going to add yeah. an additional two people, just like we always do. But that's a separate fight between them guys. So uh, with that, let's have some fun. But let's get to the main, um, before the actual quiz stuff, let's talk a little bit about nostalgia triggers. And, and that's something I wanted okay. to talk to you guys about. Um, <clears throat> Just for a little bit. Just for a little bit, nothing crazy and big. Um, I'm just gonna pull up the uh the the the, the time. No, not the time. I'm not gonna pull it up. We don't need to worry about that. So yeah, the reason good. why I say the tra- the the reason why I say nostalgia triggers uh for the main topic is because it happens to all of us and we really don't know. So like for instance, like what I mean by that is when my kids eat tons of pizzas boxes everywhere, I'm like, damn, we're like the damn Ninja Turtles. That's, that's nostalgia. So, like, even when I'm talking to people, I say movie phrases. Um, and some people don't even know what the hell I'm talking about. They're like, what the hell are you talking about? You know what I mean? Or make, like, yeah. a tree and leave, back to the future. Is there any point in time that you use nostalgia and you get triggered by seeing something, maybe? Like, if I see a red truck in the highway, I always think of Dorothy from Twister. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> I always think of that. But, um, yeah, so is there something that hits you that triggers you nostalgia? Yeah, I have some of the weirdest. Now that you're t- explaining what it is, yeah, I don't. I won't lie. I have some of the weirdest things that trigger nostalgia in me, but I don't mind sharing because I'm I'm a weird guy and I don't really care. Yeah. So, uh, like, uh, not not pop culture wise, just but just something like something that takes me back to my childhood, and this is 100 percent true. If I eat a sandwich, a sliced listen. If I eat a sliced bread sandwich, okay, and I don't toast the bread. It instantly reminds me of when, like, I was in kindergarten and first grade, and my mom used to, like, pack me a lunch. It was, you know, no toasted bread, no, just, like, ham and cheese on white bread. I'm not even lying. Like, if I eat it, it just, my mind goes back to being, like, a little kid because I don't really eat sandwiches that way anymore. You know what I mean? Since I was little. So that reminds me of of, uh, being a little kid. Um, Yeah, also when I'm writing uh, or typing, because I like I type reviews and write reviews, there will be certain words that when I'm writing them, I'll literally be thinking back of like school. You know what I mean? Like, okay, this something I learned in school remind me of how to spell certain words. You know what I mean? Um, so those kind of things. And then as far as pop culture goes, everything. I, and nostalgia is, for me, very, 
I'm very nostalgic towards like 90s stuff. Um, the only 80s thing is the Ninja Turtles. That's kind of the only 80s thing that I'm very nostalgic for. To the point of like almost anything that comes out of it, I like it. It, it doesn't matter. It could be bad. It could be a video game that's terrible. It will remind me of playing the arcade game when I was a kid, you know, with my $2 worth of quarters because that's all my dad would give me. And I, it will take me back. The game don't have to be good, but I will have fun with it because it's, it's nostalgic for me. So stuff like that kind of triggers um, nostalgia. If I see it, you know, like a movie coming when the new Ninja Turtles movies came out, I was like, oh, my God, I cannot wait to see them. I don't care. I don't care if they're good. I don't care if they're bad. I can't wait because it reminded me of that's something I watched growing up religiously. I burned through the tapes. They used to break. You know what I mean? Like, I've seen it a million times. So stuff like that will remind me of, like, uh, you know, nostalgic things from my childhood. I mean, I know it's a stupid topic. But it, it, it's like I, I thought it would be awesome because a lot of people triggers a lot. Like oh, yeah. even like 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 you said about the pizzeria. Like like when I go by my mom's house and I see the pizzeria, I always remember me going there to pick up a pizza and then play uh, Michael Jackson Moonwalker on the arcade yeah. or X Men or remember X Men the, the the arcade. Oh um, heck yeah, I love that game. Yeah, the game With was Dazzler? awesome. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right, let me see what people what triggers people. Okay, keep going, guys. Just keep writing your triggers. I'm going to get to you guys. Um, Wacka Butcher says, for the pizza, for me, Alex, it's pizza time for Spider-Man 2. All right. Horror and Coffee nice. says, I think of ghosts when I see Play-Doh. All right. Oh, okay. Jose uh, says, we all weird in some form, Nate. Um, yes. Robert makes the awesome. cut, says, damn, I get triggered all the time. Damn it. Um, all the damn time, I'm sorry. Jose says, same here. My wife hates it every time I quote a movie. Uh, James Paris says, sometimes food does that to me also, Nate. Uh, Robert Makes the Cut says, when I see rain, it reminds me of The Crow. All right. Um, James Paris says, I love watching YouTube throwback commercials from the 90s. Uh, Tribal Jiggle says, Hawaiian Punch in the six-pack cans take me oh, back to my wow. childhood. Yeah. Heck um, yeah. BX Lenny says, when I go to a wedding and I got to burn the <laughs> the bride, it reminds me of the 1986 when I won the Bronx River <laughs> Breakdown Competition. <laughs> what? <laughs> what a memory. What a memory. <laughs> um, Tony Movie Chappie says, personally, for me, I'm very nostalgic to the early 2000s, but that's okay. That's what we mean. Oh, yeah. Nostalgic to the 90s. To, Just, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's whatever you get. When, you know, when something hits you, um, unboxing with me says, I love watching some old school movies and I actually saw speed for the first time last night. Okay. Congrats. Congratulations. Har and coffee says, I look at a Rubik's cube and I think of Hellraiser. Awesome. Unboxing mm -hmm. with me says, oh yeah, the X-Men arcade is so fun. Yep. Absolutely. Uh, James Paris says arcade machines. Oh, NBA Jam. Oh, Simpsons game was actually really good when I was a kid. Simpsons was um, awesome. Yep. My wife says we go on a lot of road trips and tend to get lost in weird dessert. All right, now don't tell people that I can't drive. Like, like you're just telling people now that I get lost. <laughs> we get lost and then yeah. we're gonna die, <laughs> yeah. she said. She goes, we always <laughs> think of Texas Chainsaw. Yo, dude, every time I get lost with the GPS, it's yeah. like some decrepit cemetery, like an old church. A old yeah. house and like a. There's Ford a lot point. of places like that down here in Florida. Dude. It's just like it would just be trees and like a little sh like hut. That's all. Yeah. Rusty. I'm like Texas Chainsaw. And, and I'm like, that. do not pop a tire. Do not <laughs> pop a tire. Because I'm yeah. like, well, this is not gonna be fixed for another two days when uh. And I'm never gonna come back. Um, let me see. Jose says, laughing at Lena. Uh, Trapper Jiggle says, watching old shows from the 60s, 70s, and syndication. Like, I Love Lucy, The Monsters, and Brady Bunch. Okay. Transformer Con said, when I was a kid, we <sighs> used uh, we used to Boston. Oh, we I guess you used to yeah. live to Boston? You used to go to Boston? Or go to Boston. used to go to Boston. Yeah. We always stopped by this Italian food place and always ordered a meatball sub. Whenever I go to a place where there's a meatball sub on the menu, I order it. There I you like, go. See, that's the kind of stuff I, I be doing stuff like that. I like that. All the time. Yeah. yeah. Jay Manley says it's the 80s for me, just like Robert. It's okay, guys. Uh, Unboxing yep. says sometime nostalgia. That's for me are like getting those uh, cool a uh, cool a packets I would drink oh, and yeah. all the flavors are so good. Okay, Robert. They're Mexican, like the Capri right. Suns. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, BX Lenny says it's true. When I get lost in the woods, I think of wrong turn. It, uh, yeah. <laughs> 
Exactly. Um, Vortex Studio said, "What's up?" Uh, Jay what's Manley up? says, "Prince is my jam." But yeah, like you know, it's and it's crazy though. Like even eating mashed potatoes, I always think of a uh, close encounter of the third kind. Like I want to, <laughs> like, I want to make a pyramid. Yeah. yeah, like like <laughs> some, something stupid. Um, I'm trying to think. Like I I uh, I, I posted something in my review. Uh, so just the other day. Uh, and now that since we're talking about, I, I love talking about nostalgia and stuff like that. But um, just the other day, I watched Earthquake for the first time. Okay. Okay. And I had never seen this movie, uh, but I grew up here in Orlando. I, you know, I was born in New York, but I only lived there till I was four. Grew up in Orlando, and um, we didn't go all the time, but we used to go to Universal Studios, you know, the theme park down here. Um, and there was a ride based on Earthquake. So. Um, we used to go on this ride when I was a kid, kid, it was real scary. You know what I mean? Because you go on this train and they're like, it starts shaking and like everything, the fireballs and there's water. And you know, when you're little small, uh, in 1993, 94, it's very scary. Okay. Uh, now kids will probably be like, Oh, this sucks. Anyway. Uh, very scary. But before they had like this whole demonstration on how they did the effects in earthquake and they had the miniatures, all this stuff. Right. So I put the movie on and I'm watching it. And as soon as it gets to the disaster scene, I literally went back to being on that ride when I was a kid. It does, it's not there anymore. Now it's Fast and the Furious. So you can't even ride the ride anymore. So like I was very nostalgic for the movie, even though I had never seen the movie because I had ridden that ride as a kid and I'd seen how they made it and all the little props. And that was kind of like a cool experience, you know, because like it reminded me of something that I can't do anymore. I'm never going to be able to ride that ride again. And now I have the movie, which reminds me of the ride, which is cool. I have more attachments to the ride than to the movie because I never, I never saw it. Um, but it's the same way with like uh, King Kong, all the rides they used to have there. Um, I know Shout Factory's putting out that King Kong with uh, the the '70s one. Yeah. The ride here was based off of that movie, mm. so I already know. As soon as I buy that, I'm gonna be like, oh man, this is my new ride and all that. Yeah, yeah. So I uh, that was a cool kind of. Uh, a little thing that happened to me when I was watching it. Yeah, it's funny. We drove through a, a hurricane in North Carolina. Like we were leaving there because there was a hurricane coming to hit uh, South Carolina or wherever the Myrtle Beach is. It was gonna hit there. South South, South Carolina. Yeah. So we were gonna <laughs> we had to leave. My wife hates it because every time there's a storm, I start rocking Van Halen human beings from Tor <laughs> Twister. Like, <Yeah. laughs> and I, she, she's like, why? I always rock it. I was like, S you know, hey, Siri, you know, put on Van Halen human beings. And it's like, it's like four in the morning and I'm blasting Van Halen to keep myself awake. There's hail landing. Um, Yeah, it's it's. It's pretty fun. I mean, it's, it's just cool. stuff, you know, like there's yeah. just stuff that reminds you of other stuff that you like, you yeah. know what I mean? Or that you loved when you were a kid. Um, for me, like even like James said, and like I mentioned, like food, there's a lot of foods that will remind me of like growing up and going to my grandma's house all the time and being there. Like we were freaking, we were there like all summer, Monday through Friday, because both my parents worked. So it'd be at my great grandma's house, old Puerto Rican lady, barely spoke English, uh, super hot, no AC. Windows only, old school Puerto Rican lady, but the food, like if I eat pancakes, I re it reminds me of my grandma or she used to make me like, uh, and it's something I never eat, but if I did, I'd probably cry. She used to always make me French fries with fried eggs. So she would cut up a potato fresh, fry the French fries. My mom little, used to do that. Then, yeah. With fried eggs. And mm -hmm. ketchup. If I ate that now, I'd probably cry. I haven't eaten since I was a kid. <laughs> he said, I but, will cry. Uh, I will cry. Yeah. I will love it and I will cry. So. If I ever ate that, that will remind me of, you know, being a kid growing up. And, um, yeah, it's no, food it's cool. is big for me. Yeah. All right. Well, we all know that. Um, let's see. Tony Ruby Chappie. I always have tons of nostalgia when I watch early 2000 movies and cartoon shows. I'm Cartoon Network and Nickelodeon. Yeah, like Scooby Doo. I mean, I see Scooby Doo. I always think of me and, and like my dad watching it and oh, stuff. Yeah. Uh, Wacka Butcher says another thing that gives me nostalgia is just, uh, going to, uh, where? Juarez. Uh, Juarez. Juarez mainly. Yeah. Uh, cause of how my mom talked about growing up there and just really, uh, visualizing it myself. Oh, yeah. Mexico, I believe war is. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, Jose says I only eat spaghetti and chicken at my mom's house, uh, aunt's house. Um, uh, my wife goes, Oh my God, I remember that ride. Meaning the oh, earthquake. earthquake. Cause she's always <laughs> been in Florida. Uh, unboxing oh, okay. says another nostalgia for me are waking up in the morning watching the older Tom and Jerry cartoons and watch Ben 10 in the afternoon. <laughs> ben okay. 10. My bro I think my my younger brother that's like his time. Yeah. Uh, let me see. Yeah. My wife says every time my kids act up, I instantly think of Gremlins and the scene where they're torturing the poor lady at the bar. <laughs> yeah, my kids be hanging off the fan. Yeah. 
Yeah. They're the and, gremlins. And my little one, my youngest one, Gavin, that dude's always yeah. naked. So he's like the flasher. He's like, woo! <laughs> I remember that. Part. Yeah, he's the flasher. Um, yeah, it's mad funny. Uh, BX yeah. Lenny says, uh, whenever I go apple picking, it reminds me of the Smurf. Uh, because they are three apples tall. <laughs> <laughs> what is he talking? Okay. Jace Perry right. says when, uh, when kids talk about old stuff they think is new and I take them down a rabbit hole, uh, that's when I really feel nostalgia. When, uh, feel, uh like when, uh, they say, hey, this new song is awesome. Oh, I see. And then it's like an old song. Yeah, the next part. Yeah. yeah. And it or says, when or when they see yeah. a reboot and think it's the best thing ever. But I saw the other three versions already. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Yeah, there's nothing better than schooling a young yeah. person on. No, you know, no, no, it is. is new and cool. Yeah. yeah, like yeah, and it's funny because I always remember we were at a comic con, and maybe my wife can remember what year it was. Um, and we're standing in line, and these chicks was standing in front of us and texas chainsaw something i don't know which version was coming out and they were like yeah. oh my god it's getting scary and i'm like have you seen the original <laughs> like what are you talking about they're like i'm thinking like, don't yeah. scare oh we're back wait, up wait there's a there's an original yeah oh my god <laughs> that that math is so scary i was like oh god Bro, lady i remember relax. i went to see a movie Recently, and they showed the trailer for Flatliners. Remember that remake that just came out, Flatliners? Yeah. With Ellen. Oh, right. No, her name's not Ellen Page. What's his name? Elliot Page now? I don't know. Whatever. Yeah. Page. Uh, and, uh, and uh, like, Nina Dobrev and everything. And this kid is, like, he's with his dad. And his dad's like, oh, shoot. That's a remake. <laughs> and the kid is like, of what? And the dad is just like, Flatliners. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's the, it's the same title. Yeah. It's like this kid has never even heard of this movie, and I was like, "Oh, that movie's not even that old. It's, it's only the '80s. They don't even know what you know, like '80s movies." Yeah, wow. no, no, dude. Like, me, I mean, me and my wife was shocked because they were like, "Oh yeah. my god, I'm so scared." <laughs> and I was just like, "Wow!" Yeah. Even my wife said, hey, "Look, I remember that. That was when I knew horror was dead <laughs> for the new generation." <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and no. Right. Yeah, I mean, pretty much. Um, but yeah, look, guys, look, you guys had some great nostalgia stuff. Um, yeah. It was actually pretty cool. I, I think this was a pretty cool topic uh, to talk about. Uh, Horror and Coffee Rob, of course, is going to bring some knowledge saying flat. <laughs> this came out in the I summer said 80s. of the 90s. It was yeah. 1990. Either way, didn't I was it three. have, I don't uh, have any memories. Didn't it have Kiefer uh, Sullivan? Oh, heck was yeah, it? Kevin Bacon. Kevin the Bacons, yep. right? Yeah. Kevin Bacon, uh, Julie, uh, was Julia Roberts in? I'm pretty sure Julia Roberts was in it had a good Flatliners cast. as well. Just yeah, the Joel movie stunk. directed it. Yeah. Yeah, it was like stylish, but not very good. You know? Yeah. Um, yeah. All right, let's see. Tony Moo Chappie said, a movie that I have so much nostalgia for even uh, know I know it's not really a good movie is the movie The Cat in the Hat. I watched that movie so many times as a kid, and surprisingly, I still like oh, it to this day. Mike Myers? I guess so. That's the only one that came yeah. out. Um, yeah. yeah, everyone's saying Julia Roberts, Robert Makes a Cut, Kiefer Sullivan, yep, uh, Julia Roberts, Kevin Bacon, and Eggs. Um, <laughs> Kevin Bacon and Eggs. <laughs> But yeah, so like you know, I Oliver mean, Platt. there are some that. movies oh. that I've seen that stunk, but to me, I like it because like the the Robert Williams Popeye, that is my joint because it reminds me Absolutely. of when I was a kid. Like yep. I always remember that the, the when he goes in and everyone is all quiet when he's getting a burger and, and the guy takes his burger. <laughs> yep, he's like, ah, oh, you can take it, you can take it. And then the one that my wife really hates, and I know she's gonna quote. Is when she's yelling at me, I was like, "Man, you sound like Popeye's dad." <laughs> <laughs> she hates that. She hates that. I'm like, uh, uh, "I don't want my spinach. I want my spinach." <laughs> right, I have a question. So, I, yeah. so I have a question then. Like on that same note, okay. what are some like name like three or four movies that are like you know, like it's not that good probably, but you like like Popeye. Like, I like a couple Popeye. of those, those kind of movies, yeah. That are no matter what, and it could be twenty years from now, you're gonna like it, even if it just ages terribly. Like, what are some of those movies for you? Uh, Punisher with Dolph Lundgren. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm not here. Punisher, you told right. me. You told me to say hey, it. Absolutely. Um, what was the other one? Um, uh, Toxic Avenger, the original. I don't know if you ever seen okay. that, the Toxic Avenger. Yeah, yeah, I've seen that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that one. Um, my wife is master of the universe. I'll just let you know right now. That's her dream. Oh, um, that's her Dolph Lundgren. Temple, Temple of Doom. 
Because everyone has a problem with Temple of Doom, Indiana Jones. Everybody has a, a problem with Temple of Doom, except this yeah. guy. That's my, my, my guilty <laughs> pleasure. Um, yeah. And let me see. I'm trying to think. So not good. But I still watch it to this. I mean, not good by, you know, like critics no, maybe know. didn't like it or whatever. Yeah. Uh, I And Rambo. <laughs> we review Rambo. The critics <laughs> killed Rambo it. Wasn't it the, Rambo no, 4. No, the first one did good. Remember Rambo oh, 4? Four, four, like yeah, yeah. Four, four, it had a 37 <laughs> Rotten Tomato. We were like, what the hell? Yeah. I got it written right here. 37 Yeah, 37. So that's that's my guilty pleasure. How about you? What yeah, you got? Yeah. Um, and, and you know what? I have one that I, I a lot of my friends, like, not a lot. Okay. A few of my friends also like. So in my small circle, you know, it's liked. But like, if you look up the reviews, it's very terrible. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, The Secret of the Ooze. Dude, that's an awesome uh, movie. Okay. The first one's way better in my oh, opinion. Oh, yeah. But like, the is. first one's legitimately good, in, I think. Yeah. The second one's kind of goofy and like, for kids, love it. Absolutely love it. Yeah. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Super Shredder. Vanilla Ice. Any movie with Vanilla Ice in it doing a rap song is probably not good. <laughs> it's but good. <laughs> I love the ninja rap. Um. Yeah. Let's see. What else? A uh, Sister Act two. Uh, Sister Act I two. I just saw those for the first time. Bro, they're uh, so a few funny. Months ago. Uh, yeah. They were I good. don't care what anyone says. They're hilarious. But the second one, I watched that when I was about eleven. Uh, like every night because we we lived with my aunt and she had like a few movies. So and Clueless, by the way. So I had to share a room with my sister, and so she's obviously a girl. So she would pick more kind of like girly movies. So I have seen Clueless and Sister Act two probably fifty times each. Like I know all the words to both, and I don't. I love Clueless and I love Sister Act two probably because of that. And I, I think Clueless is legitimately good, but I still have like a lot of nostalgia toward it. Uh, towards it. Um, let's see. Do I have any other ones that are really bad? My wife um, loves the the Sister Acts. That's why I had to see it. They're great. Yeah, she they're loves great. Those, I don't yeah. care what anyone says. They're the great. The first one um, I thought was better than the sequel. That's my opinion. I'm the opposite. I, see, I'm the opposite. Like I yeah. love Sister Act two, but. One is good, too. I do like it. Yeah. But you're right. One is better. That's what I'm saying. One is legitimately good. Yeah. And two's kind of like, eh, But yeah. I like two better. Yeah, my um, wife says yeah. I love part two. <laughs> yeah, me too. It's the best. Um, and uh, let's see. Do I have any? I'm trying to look over there in my collection see some like old movie. I mean, growing up, I mostly grew up on Disney stuff. Um, I grew up on the Ninja Turtles movies, Chippendale Rescue Rangers, a lot of cartoon shows. Oh yeah, oh we could do that. That's a separate. Uh, that's a separate joint yeah. we could tackle because that that's yeah. my joint. Darkwing Duck, stuff like that. Batman, uh, Batman Super. animated series. Yep. Uh, Someone said a... uh, unboxing said Batman. Unboxing v is Super. nostalgic for Batman v Superman because he's only thirteen years old. So he <laughs> that came out when he was eight. So that's Yo, why it's nostalgic. You're for evil. Him. Um, all right, so let <laughs> me go. Let me watch rated R movies. Let me go through these lists and then we're gonna start. Picking. So if you guys want to be part of Nate Stein's reviews, because I'm gonna randomly pick two people and then Tri Burrow's yeah. gonna fight uh, Nate uh, for the yeah. questions. Give me a, a number one. Put your number ones for everyone that wants to participate, and I'm going to randomly pick two people from the app. So with that said, I'm just going to read everyone's guilty pleasures. Um, yeah. Unboxing said, I love Temple of Doom. All right. My wife said, Masters in the Universe. Unboxing said, I think Nate wants to go to Popeye and get that chicken. I guess. Um, I don't know. Oh, love that chicken from yeah. Popeye. Love that chicken. <laughs> All right. Tony Movie Chappie says, for me, I always go with Mike Myers and the Cat in the Hat. All right. Uh, Whack a Butcher said Over the Hedge is my guilty pleasure. I never heard of that. You heard of that? Oh, Over the Hedge. That's a cartoon. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, let me see. What was I at? Uh, Unboxing said Rambo's a great movie. That's right. Triborough Gigolo says I watched often when I was a young, uh, younger, so I guess I don't know what they're talking about. Uh, former kind says Oh, Happy Day. Robert Makes the Cut says Paul uh, More Cop 2. Oh, um, Paul Blart. Let's see. Wag Butcher says, uh, "Blonde oh, B.S. Lenny says, Caveman and Airplane.'" Robert right. Paul Blart Two did not come out when you were a kid. That he's just saying <laughs> a guilty pleasure. That, that yeah. movie came out like my niece was a little. She's alive when that movie came out. Yeah. Unboxing with me says Spider Man Three and Batman v Superman. The Tribal Gigolo says, "Who Framed Roger Rabbit and Lady and the Tramp?" Yeah. Um. That's a good one. My wife says, uh, James Perez says, X Men animated series top cats. Heck yeah. Yeah, Guardian, uh, top cat. Gargoyles. Gargoyles. Yeah. Gargoyles was my jam. That was, that yeah. cartoon was amazing. Yeah. And you know what shows I have a lot of nostalgia for? Yeah. Uh, because I, uh, this is another memory from when I was a little kid. When we first moved to Florida, I had, we slept in my parents' room because we lived with my great grandma. And, uh, at Nick at Night, they used to have this thing called Nick at Night on Nickelodeon. And, um, 
I used to watch uh, the Dick Van Dyke show a lot. I grew up with Dick Van Dyke. Uh, the Alfred Hitchcock. Remember the Alfred Hitchcock show? Oh, where the, he would come at the presents? beginning. Yes, uh, <clears throat> yeah. we used to watch that. He used to scare me. Uh, Dragnet. There's a show called Dragnet. That one used to. Uh, that one also used to scare me because at the beginning it would be like these crimes are real and the names have been changed and anything like that used to scare me when I was a kid. Um, but yeah, all those kind of like black and white '50s and '60s show. I, uh, I have some nostalgia for because I used to watch them a lot when I was four, five, six. Um, but, yeah. All right, guys. So if you want to be part of Nate Stein's movie reviews. Yeah, Jay. Jay put the number give one. Give us a number one. So I know. So we can get the ball rolling. Let's get Jay in here. He's never scared. No random nothing. He wants to play. You want to put Jay in? Yeah, but just put him in. He's ready to go. All right. All of Unboxing's nostalgic movies came out eight years ago. Because he's 13. I'm telling you. Kentucky Fried Movie, you are dating yourself. JB says, J, Kentucky Fried Movie, you are dating yourself. <laughs> yeah. Ruben Jay, hit the... <laughs> Robert Redford. Hit the, uh, hit the button. Let me set up everything here. Boop. Jay, hit that link. Here we go. You got to hit that. We got to hit the theme music. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna hit your theme because I know you always dance. We, we, we I always love it. Dance. All right, while you do that, let me hit the Tales from the Dark Side. Your wife says Tales from the Dark Side. I always make references to. I just watched that movie for the first time in October during my 31 days of horror. It was interesting. Yeah, yeah it was an interesting movie. Lady had that kid. The lady from Blondie had that kid like locked up in her house, and she's telling all those stories. It was pretty good. BX Lenny says, I want that Schindler's List digital code. Get in the trivia. Let's play. You could win it. Uh, unboxing. Nate, I was saying Batman v Superman has a joke. I know. I was just, I'm just messing with you, too. Uh, Rocket Power on Nickel. I used to love uh, Rocket Power. Which one? Oh, Rocket Power? Yeah, heck yeah, bro. That, that show was great. Oh, here he comes. The man, the myth, the legend. Mr. J. Manley. All right, let me put Jay down here. And put you right here. All right, here we go. <clears throat> All right, what's up, Jay? What's up? How are we doing? There's an echo. You got you to gotta lower us some, from somewhere. Uh, it's my. Hold on a second. Let me see if I could do this. He's, he said the song from Tales from the Crypt always reminded me that it was time for. It was bedtime. That's how you know. There was a show on um, on uh, USA Network that used to come on. What was it called? Alcapulco Heat. If that show came on, I knew it was very late and I was supposed to go to sleep. I don't know if everybody remembers that. Nate throwing shade at <clears throat> No, unboxing my unboxing my boy. He's just young. That's all. All right, so here we go. We're going to play Nate Stein's movie. Let's see how good we're going to get. Now, these are actual questions. These are not going to be super hard or nothing. Hard enough. We yep. we went through this um already me and Nate so so we yep. we kind of we ironed everything out so everyone's gonna have a chance to win some good stuff so is this better yeah yes. you're good um all right here so here we go Woo, this is Ooh. caliente today what's up okay. all, right, all right here we go, go. testing one two all right here we go. not too loud is that loud <clears throat> it's echoey it's not too loud but it's echoey it's all right that's what I want yeah you're good all right so here we go. Welcome everyone to a brand new Win Nate Stein's Movies. I'm your host, Alex Figueroa, and we got a brand new contestant, Jay Manley. Hey. hey. Welcome, Jay. Are you ready? I am ready. All right, so here we go to our contestants and Nate himself. The way this is going to go, you're going to answer two questions each. Okay? Total of four. Okay, if you guys are tied by the end, we're gonna go with a tiebreaker. But so far, we're gonna have four questions. Each of you guys are gonna take a turn. You guys can pick each other's uh, category. So they are com uh, comedy cartoons, action adventure, drama, musical, horror, and sci fi. Alright, so here we go, Nate. Choose the topic for Jake. Oh, and we are playing with Steve. By the way, so Jay, if you get it wrong, 
I can steal. If I get my question wrong, you can steal. Yep. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Uh, Sounds fair Jay's enough to me. Question. All right. I know Jay is very knowledgeable. He has a wide array of knowledge. With that said, I'm still going to give him drama musicals. All right. So, Jay, you know how this is going to work. I'm going to give you the question, and then everyone's going to see the 30-second timer now live. So, are you ready? I am ready. Okay. Contestants, are you ready? Oh, I guess you are the contestant. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, here we go. True or false, Chicago was the first musical to win a Best Picture Oscar in 35 years. Timer's on. I'm going to go with true. Is that your final? Are you locking it in? I will lock it in. All right. And the answer is... Love that joker. All right. You got it. You got one. All right, Jay. And you got very lucky because that's an unstealable question because if you would have got it wrong, <laughs> yeah, that's the answer. Yeah. Well, yeah, true. I was gonna say, how, could, yeah. how could you steal that one? No, no, truths and false, yeah. we, we will not do that. But yeah, other than that, yeah, questions okay. will be, yeah. All right, here very we go. Good. Pick nice a job. topic for uh, for Neat. So it's right. comedy or cartoon, action adventure, or horror sci-fi. Uh, let's go with cartoon. Let's see how good he does with cartoon. Comedy and cartoon. All right. Comedy here and we cartoon. go. Here, here we, we go. go. What two thousand question? What two thousand and ten movie features the likes of Woody, Slinky, and Mr. Potato Head? Two thousand ten? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Toy Story Three. You're locking it in. Specifically three, yes. All right. Is it Toy Story 3? Love that Joker. One and one. All right. The crowd is getting into it. Crowd is getting into it. All right. Yep. All right. So here we go. This is getting good now. All oh, right. Uh, I'm going to pick for Jay. I'm going to pick horror and sci-fi. Horror and sci-fi. Ooh. 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 All right. You ready, Jay? I am ready. Here we go. I love it because unboxing says that is so easy, but then if you put him on the spot, he'll be like, uh, uh. Yeah, he, said, he, said, he said, I want Marvel. And then we asked him the Marvel question. Put, and he didn't know it. Yeah. Put unboxing in here next because if he's saying this is easy, then. All right, here we go. You ready? I'm ready. Horror sci fi. And 30 seconds is reset. Here we go. What type of planet is Alien 3 set on? The prison planet, <laughs> industrial planet, or medical planet? 30 seconds is on the clock. I'm going to say option two. Industrial planet? Is that? Yeah, I'm going to lock that in. You're going to lock it in. All right. Is it industrial planet? <laughs> He's been using brand X. Oh, oh sorry, Stop man. Uh, you get to steal it. Yeah, I, I know the answer, or I knew it. Uh, it should be A, Prison Planet. Is it Prison Planet? You lose! Not just what? joking. Love it, <laughs> oh. <laughs> I about to say, it's absolutely Yes, okay. all right, so now this is going to be a little tricky because if Nate does not get one. this one right and you steal yep. it, you, you steal tie, it. and you go into a breaker. Okay. Okay? All right. all right. So the last one is what, Action Adventure? Yes. Oh yes. man, I'm just gonna say it's nice playing with you, Jay. <laughs> All right, <laughs> I left myself. See, I did a strategic move and left. Yeah. Myself. All right, here we go. Nice end. move. Here nice we go. Move, move, my friend. Action nice adventure. Okay. Set the time. Here we go. In Marvel's blockbuster, The Avenger, what city are they fighting to save? Oh man. Oh man, Marvel's the Avengers. What city are they? Oh, quit playing it. Quit playing. Oh quit playing my with god, me. I'm gonna guess New York. That's my guess. In the air. <laughs> New York. <laughs> Love that Joker. Yep. Hey, all yeah. Right. Oh man, Jay. Nice move. <laughs> that was a good move. Strategy, that was a good move. Baby. Thank you all so right, much, Jay. Okay. Just for playing, Jay. You already know. Generous Nate is here. Just for mm -hmm. you. I got three digital codes. 
basic movies. You could choose one. Just I, I always like to give people something for even <laughs> having the guts to play. Yeah. So all right. All you right. Can have a 4K copy. I've been trying to give these away for weeks. A 4K copy <laughs> of Glass. A 4K copy of the J Lo classic Hustlers. Ask Robert. Ask Robert about it. Or an <laughs> HD only. It's not 4K. A regular HD copy of Just Mercy. A great movie, by the way. Um, I'll take Glass. I like that movie. You got actually. it. Actually, Glass is yours. A 4K. There you go. Now with your new 4K player and everything, you can uh, enjoy it. But uh, I will send you that when we are done. All right, okay. ladies and gentlemen, please give a standing applause to Jay Manley uh, for coming in. And uh, can I can I uh, sh- say something real quick? Sure. Um, mm-hmm. um one, I am. I see that we're up to ten shirts now. Oh yeah. Uh-huh. That was awesome. So. People that who are purchasing shirts, make sure that when you get them, um, show your picture so that we can get your name on the list. I got names on the list here already, so that we can the get barbecue your, uh, giveaway. You barbecue, yeah. So you don't want to miss out on your chance to get that uh, w- drawing for the barbecue because uh, we got what we'll two weeks it. left? Yeah, two weeks left. Mm-hmm. Two weeks win, left. Win Jay Stein's barbecue. Yeah, <laughs> Jay Stein. <laughs> <laughs> well, All right, there's an AKA King. for, for uh, AKA yeah. for for BX Lenny's, AKA I, yeah. Jay Stein. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I need to get a crown or something for Jay King or something. Like hey, there that. you go. But, thank you so yeah. much. Thank uh, you, and uh, happy birthday, Robert. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, happy birthday. All right, yeah. so whoever wants to step up to the ring and go Unboxing. up against Nate, huh? Unboxing. Get in here, man. Unboxing. I'm calling him out because he said these are easy. Let's he said, go. I love Toy Story 3. Get in here, Unboxing. Click the link. We don't, we're waiting for Tri-Bro. He's going to go last. Don't don't worry about it. He'll get his. Yeah, he's going to get his. They they got a separate yeah. thing going there. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let me see. All right. Unboxing. Hmm. Click the link. Or anyone. Click the link. Yeah, come on, people. We are waiting for another... You could still win. Yes, you can still win. Mercy or hustle. Just for I mean, we got great prizes. Anyway, you right. look at it up. Don't, don't <laughs> You got yourself a... Uh, we got a double or nothing prize. If you can right. make it, you got yourself some cool digital four codes. I mean, we got some good codes here to give out tonight, ladies and gentlemen. All right, let's see who we got. Ooh, James Paris, step on Ooh. there. He wanted to play a few weeks ago. Uh oh, he got jerseys on. He got the East Coast jersey. Uh-oh. He heard these questions and said, "These sound easy. Let me jump on now." Yeah. Ooh. He's just trying to win. Just mercy. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, so we got uh, James. What's up, James? What up, man? How you doing? Good. All right. Washing dishes, playing trivia. That's a, right. A man of many talents. I many love that. Talents. I love that jersey. Whose number's in the back? Nobody's. I love that. That's the best. <laughs> He's the entire East. He's the entire Dude, East Coast. I am the East. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here we go, James. The way it's going to go, Nate is going to pick for you the topic, and then you're going to pick for him. All right? Okay. So if you guys tie, okay. we're going to go right into the 80s questions. And if you tie again, then we're going to go straight to horror, super hard questions in the horror. So okay. here we go. You have All right, um, Nate. I got to pick his topic. Yep, pick yeah. his topic. Um, I think we might. I think, you know what? I know this is my cousin, everybody. Obviously my first cousin, too. Yeah. I think, you know he knows a lot of stuff. So this might be going to a tiebreaker. I'm just going to call it now. Unless I have a brain fart or he has a brain fart. So okay. I'm going to give him the... Choice. I'm gonna start off with the same exact thing I gave Jay, and I'm gonna give him drama slash musicals. Okay. Okay. All right. That's evil shit. But all right. I will always <laughs> give that first. I know that's, <laughs> that's mad know. evil. All right. So once I answer the question, I mean, once I give you the question, I'm gonna start the clock, and then you'll start getting ready to answer. All right. Here we go. Drama slash musical. In Life of Pi, an Indian boy is marooned on a lifeboat with what animal? Tiger. You're locking it in? Yeah. All right. And the answer is Tiger! That's correct. Love that joker. 
There you go. We got a one. That is correct. That there is you go. Correct. I mean, that's a guy who knows his stuff. All right, that's James. Right. Now you're gonna have it's horror slash sci-fi, action slash okay. adventure, or comedy slash cartoon for Nate. Let's go. Uh, the sci-fi one. Horror and sci-fi. Horror sci-fi. All right. Ooh. This might stump with you. I don't know. I don't know. See, Nate, I don't know, man, with you, man. All right, here we go. This might. He might get you on this one. All right. All, all right. right. How long do replicants live in the Blade Runner? Four, five, oh. or eight years? That is a great question. Um, <laughs> I, <laughs> the original Blade Runner. Dang it. Uh, I've seen this movie. Oof. Oof. Hey, God, I think this was a, I think this was a good strategy by him. Sec- I'm going to say... Because I can't really remember. I think it's only five years. Okay. But I, it's a shot in the dark a little bit, but I think it's five years. You're locking it in. I'm locking it in. All right. Is it five years? He's been using brand ah, Dang it. That's a okay. smart strategy. <laughs> Your cousin's like, this is small phone don't know shit about horror. Yeah. I don't give it <laughs> I horror. do know horror, but that, that, was a, that was a good one. That, that is a good one. A, All right. Yeah, so right now, James is up by one. Well, he could steal. He could steal too. You could steal. If, what does that mean? It. You have if to you know, know the answer. You know the answer. Yeah. Yeah. Do I lose points? No. no. You gain a point. <laughs> only gain. Yeah. I think it's eight years. I'll lock that in. He's been using brand. Oh, it's four. It's four, four. years. Four. But it's all right. Okay. You still up by one point. Right. Uh, yes. You still up by one point. All right. Here we go, Nate. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, that was bad for me. So I'm gonna give him. I'm not giving him the action one. He can have the other one. Uh, he's gonna know it though. I think he, he's pretty good with it. I'm gonna give him the comedies and uh, cartoons. All right. All right. Here we go. Oh man, this is pretty good. If he gets this right, I lose. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. Yeah, pretty much. All right. Here we go. <laughs> Ballroom dance, football, and a mental illness all played a part in what 2012 comedy? Ooh, that's good. <laughs> I think it was a comedy, but I kind of want to say it was, oh, my God, it was a movie with Jennifer Lawrence and, oh, my What's God, I called? cannot remember the name of the What's camp. it called? I can repeat the question. I can repeat it quick. Repeat it quickly? All right. Ballroom dance, football, and mental illness all play a part in what 2012 comedy? Three, two, one. You better get it right. One. I know it. I know the movie. I've seen it a hundred times. I can't remember the title. Right. I'm sorry. Uh, Nate's going to steal it. All right, Nate, what is it? Silver Linings Playbook. Thank you. Oh, my God. Yeah. That upsets me so much. Joker. Playbook. Yep. That that's... upsets me so much. I've seen that movie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, back in the driver's seat, baby. Oh, boy. Let's do it. This is horrible. All right. That is horrible. I get this right, I win. <laughs> that one. Uh, I that one, too. <laughs> Son of a crap. Give me my action and adventure <laughs> question or whatever it is. What is Indiana Jones' dad afraid of? Indiana Jones' dad? Yeah. <laughs> oh, freak. I know what he's afraid of. <laughs> I, the, Last Crusade, the Last Crusade is my least favorite movie. Oh, um, Lord. Oh, no. Okay, I think it's... What's he afraid of? Oh crap! He's gonna get. He's gonna steal this if I don't get it. But I sure don't know. Um, Name anything. You got I'm five. He's scared of scorpions. Four, three. You scorpions. said scorpions. <laughs> he's scared of scorpions. He's been using brand <laughs> All right, here Dang we go. James, if you get this right, you win. And if you get, if you don't, I mean, you guys are tied. <laughs> Pretty much, go <laughs> to the next round. Um, is it heights or flying? Like, he's afraid of heights. He's been using brand oh, X. He was, uh, Indiana Jones uh, was afraid, the senior was afraid of rats. Rats. Uh, rats. I know he was snakes. And then the dad, yeah, right. I knew some other creature. to be snakes. All okay, right. so we, we tiebreaker. We're going straight to 80s now, boys. Yes. Oh, man, oh, man. All right. Here we go. So how does tiebreaker work? You ask me, or do we both get a question? Um, I think we both. I think it should be that we both get a question, 
and go till pretty much one answer is one right. You win yeah. by one. Basically. Yeah. Okay. Win by one. Okay. Yeah. But I mean, I could give you guys the top. I mean, since you uh got we're the going first to that one, other game. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. We're but going since, to that other game, right? Yeah. Now we're going into okay. into. So I'm gonna give you since you got the first question right. I'm going to give you the categories, and then you pick whatever question you want me to answer, and then Nate will do the same thing. And then we'll keep okay. going until someone wins. Okay? Okay. All right. So your categories are 80s, movies, TV, music, famous people, and events, trends, tech, and fun, or stranger things. 80s movies. We're going movies. All right, let me read this because this joint got some like big ass words. All right, here we go. <laughs> I'm telling you, like this is it gets crazy. These are a little bit harder. Yeah, it gets a little harder, so that's why yeah. I gotta take a second here to read this first. All right, are you ready? Mm-hmm. All right, movies. In what high flying 1980 spoof movie starring Leslie Nielsen does the autopilot turn out to be an inflatable doll named Oto? Airplane. You are locking this, that this in. This one is easy. He's, yeah. he's definitely got it right. All right. Love that Joker. All right. That, hey, nice. Good start. That was a good one. That's a that good start. Good All right, Nate. TV, yeah. music, famous people, and events, trends, tech, and fun, or stranger things? Um, I'll take... <sighs> Uh, left me all the crap categories. Uh, no, music's not really crap, but 80s, you know, I'm not, I was born at the tail end of it. So I'll go with 80s music. I would probably do better with that than some of the other ones. All right, music. Let me just read this here. This is going to be all some right. nonsense. This is going to be silly. Hey, you picked Gloria it. Estefan. Yeah, I know. Well, all I right. Had to. What, group, <laughs> <laughs> what group had a hit with burning down the house in 1983? Talking Head, Depeche Mode, or The Human League? Oh God! It's either one or three. Uh, I'm gonna say one. Uh, the Talking Heads. I think that's the right answer. You're locking that in. Yeah, I know it's not Depeche Mode. Yeah, I'm, I'm uh, gonna go with that one. Okay. Uh, the answer is Talking Heads. Love that Joker. Yes. All right, All one right. one. Uh, All this right. Is, this is actually pretty good. All right, here we go. James. That's for you, Triboro. You coward who thought <laughs> I didn't know nothing about music. <laughs> Take that. Uh -huh. All right, here we go. You got TV, famous people in events, trends, tech, and fun, or Stranger Things? Uh, let's do trends, tech, and fun. Ooh, trends, tech, and fun. I did not get lucky. Jay, uh, or James's wife is in. Don't blow in front of Tracy. She's going to come over there and slap me. <laughs> Dude, I, don't don't up, I know that movie. I took my wife to see that movie on a date. All right. <laughs> Playbook. All right, here we go, James. Are you ready? 30 yes. seconds is reset it. Here we go. What was a frequently used tactic to get a glitchy video game cartridge to work better? Oh, come on. Dude, you got to take that Nintendo cartridge. <laughs> You got to blow on it. <laughs> blow on it. Well, you know what? I didn't need to start the clock because that is actually the right, right answer. Yeah. It... Love that Joker. All right. Nice. All right. So we. What wow. am I left with? What kind of garbage am I left with? You've got. We did music. We got TV. Okay. We did. Uh, so famous people and events or stranger things. No, we have TV left. No, we didn't do TV yet. Oh, and TV. I'm sorry. And TV. Okay. Uh, gosh. Uh, okay. I only saw the first two seasons of Stranger Things. So I'm a little weary of picking that. I'll go with famous people and events, I guess. All right. Oh, man. Uh, oh, God. <laughs> it never you, I wasn't even around for this. I probably. tell you this. You're not going to get this. And I'm, I'm even going to tell you that. Unless, okay. All right. Here we go. That's fine. In 1982 to 1984, what Texas University men's basketball team was nicknamed Pisemia Jama? If I'm even saying the damn name right. <laughs> <laughs> pi, pi, pi Slamma Jamma, I think. So, yeah, Pi Slamma Jamma. Uh, Texas. Okay, I'm going to get probably not the Longhorns. Maybe. What team might have been good back then? I'm going to say, you know what? I'm going to take a shot in the dark here. What Texas University? Some, yeah, some small school like SMU. That's I'm what gonna you're going to say? SMU. Say? Yeah. All right. SMU. He's been using Brand X. No, Univ it's Longhorn. Univer <laughs> you, you could take it. 
What do you What do you was think? It, I mean, I won already, but was it Texas A and M? No, it was a uh, University of uh, Houston. Houston. Oh, okay. okay. Houston. I knew it wasn't like. So, congratulations, James. You have won Nate Stein's movies. Now, if you want, we got to these '80s questions. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Um, so you got a choice of stuff. You got um, Nate. What? Oh, oh. Yeah. I got uh, I got Hustlers and Just Mercy left, or, or, or both. You could have both since you won. Uh, or I know there's a double or nothing. So you can do the double or nothing, but that means you get a better prize or nothing. What's <laughs> the better prize? Want. It's a mystery. That's the that's the risk. It's a mystery last time, prize. Yeah, last time someone took it, they got a tenant steelbook. So uh, you know, it's, it it's up anything. to you. It's your choice. Yeah, it's your choice. But the questions are so hard, man. <laughs> that's, uh, the <laughs> 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 that's the point. And remember, it's You know what? Yeah. I'll or he has some good too. Because guess what? I beat Nate anyway, so it doesn't even matter. That's my price. I beat yeah, Nate. That's pretty true. much. That so is true. You got bragging rights. You got some codes here. So you got uh, Nate's codes. You got Dread, yep. V from Vendetta, Unhinged, all 4K, three. 4K, um, HD. All three. All three really Hunter Games. Okay. You got Collateral, Cloverfield, Evil Dead 2, Asylum, Story, uh, Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark, Schindler's List. Sherlock Holmes. Don't take Schindler's list because BX Lenny's really wants to win. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Requiem for a Dream. Um, I got Apocalypse Now. I haven't opened. Tracy said you better so, do yeah. it. She said, "Come on, James, you can do it." She okay, said, Don't well, be scared. I'll take. I'll, I'll. I'm doing the double or nothing. Um, I have to pick which one now. Okay. She said, so, don't, don't be a punk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that sounds like my wife. <laughs> All right. So double or nothing. It gets harder. Right. So with Double or Nothing, you pick a movie and you have to finish this. So it has to be a movie or a song. That you and love. you have to finish the sentence correctly. Okay. So you got to pick it. One, Either one. A movie or a song. I'll pick movie. All right. So what movie you think you could finish a phrase from? Rocky 2. Rocky Wow. Rocky two, wow! I like the I like the gu I like the the, the guts here of that, picking a movie like Rocky two. Yeah, that's bold. That, that's mucho, <laughs> that's mucho bold. You know what they say, fortune favors the bold. They say, yeah, I never heard of that, but yeah, it's a real <laughs> saying. Trust me, it's real. <laughs> it's real. <laughs> it's real. It, it, Believe it's me, real. they say it. All of them. <laughs> All of them. Um, <laughs> All of them okay, say here we go. Uh, what the hell is the? Here you go. Quotes. Uh, do, 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 do. Hmm. I'm trying to get a good one. Because, hmm. <laughs> you know, last time we did some easy ones, and it's like, oh. Yeah, you got to earn this one. Yeah, this one. Roberts was pretty Roberts was pretty good. Yeah, the his first, was first pretty one good. For lethal weapon. That was like that was like moderate as far as difficulty. All right, here we go. Are you ready? Okay. Yeah. All right. Here you go. You get no time clock here. Okay? Here we go. Interviewer says, "Do you have a criminal record?" Rocky says, "Nothing blank blank about." Use no. Huh? Use no. About. Okay. He's been using brand X. Oh, oh. It says, Dang. interviewer says, do you have a criminal record? Rocky Balboa says, nothing worth bragging about. Worth bragging oh, about. Okay. Worth bragging. Yeah. That was, that, hey, still, it's you, okay. You can still have Just Mercy or Hustlers in 4K. Yep. If you um, want either of them. Whichever movie my wife wants. <laughs> Tracy. Tracy. Tracy, pick a movie. J-Lo or you can have Michael B. Jordan in for your digital library. Let's see what she puts. J-Lo's cheeks or Michael B. Jordan's cheeks. <laughs> Hustler. <laughs> what we got here? Tracy's laughing. She, she said LMAO. No, Robert said Robert really wants someone to take Hustlers. I think he loves so. this movie. 
Constance Wu, his cousin, is in it. She said J-Lo. Uh, he said, she said J-Lo. So yeah. you're the proud owner of a Hustlers. I'll text it to you uh, when we're done. There you go, All right. Hustlers. All right, good job. All right, man. All right, thank you, James. Take it easy, I still man. Beat That's right. You did. You did. It's been a while since you beat me in something, but you got me. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Here we go. What, what Unboxing you... said he wants to play. So, uh, so put 10, him in. 15. Let's put him in real quick. Because yeah. this is going to be light work, and then we'll get Triburn in here so he can take his L and, and go There see. you go. All right. Unboxing call in. Dang, what happened to all your other digital codes? You only had like two? I'm down. Huh? I, got, I, I, I sold some off. Oh, you know what? I'm selling all these off. <laughs> yeah, collect, collecting dust. <laughs> all right. What we got here? What's unboxing? Any minute now, just hit the clink. We're not here all night. Come on. Let's do it. Let's do it, dog. I'm ready for you. I love that we don't tell them what the double or nothing prize is. It makes it very scary. Nope. <laughs> all right, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, do we have one more contestant before the big battle between... No. Tribor I'm boxing. If Triborough goes, we're done. So just jump in now. You don't need one. to prepare yourself. Dude, Get in. Easy, you said. Yeah, you don't need to prepare yourself. What is it? You prepare yourself. Toy Story, you don't know the questions. How are you going to prepare yourself? Just jump in. Let's go. Toy Story 3. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Get in here now. <laughs> you don't need to prepare yourself. There's no preparing. You don't go to Dripper and going, hey, Alex, you're back. Hold on a second. I got to <laughs> I gotta prepare myself for questions that we really don't know what's going to happen. Don't answer. be scared. It's, it's no pressure, brother. It's no pressure. He said, I'm a big wimp. He was the first person who ever was on this game. Not a big wimp. Come on, man. You got it. <laughs> I did he, not scare, he got scare him scared. <laughs> okay, he don't want to play. I All guess. right, you know what, Trevor? Come on, get we, the paper champion in here. Yeah, L get him on here, and let's do this. Let's go. Questions are so easy, and he needs yeah. to be prepared. I never seen that before in my life. <laughs> We're playing the easy mode of this game right now. Yeah, we got the difficulty on rookie. He said he's going to wait two weeks. All right, that's fine. You're going to wait two weeks for what? You're not even going to know the questions. That's too funny. All right, here we go. We're going to get the main battle here. Here he is. He just been dying to just eat this fat L for the last I don't know how long. The paper champion himself, Mr. Triborough <laughs> Gigolo. <laughs> there he is, everybody. Look at him. Bask in his glory. He's about to lose. All right, what's up, Triborough? Yep. What up? What's good? What's up, I'm dog? doing good. How, how you doing? So, so uh, unboxing. He needs. Uh, he needs two weeks to prepare for four questions. <laughs> two weeks to prepare. <laughs> yep. <laughs> for probably only two questions, really. <laughs> but, um, I don't know how he's gonna prepare because we don't know the questions. Yeah. So, all right, here we go. All right. I already picked it. Yep. Are you ready, Triborough? Nate is going to play. Yes. I already know what Nate's going to yeah. ask you first. He's going to pick, he's gonna pick drama and, and musical. So are you ready? My main man. You're getting are drama you, and musical. Are you ready for this? Yeah. All right. Here we go. Lawrence yes. Oliver plays an aging Nazi hunter from Glory, uh, Glory, uh, Gl G G G Gregory Glenn Peck oh, in okay. what movie? Jesus, I couldn't get that out. Read it again. I'll read it again. Read Lawrence again. Oliver Plays an aging Nazi hunter after uh, G Gregory Peck in what movie? Lawrence of Olivia. You're locking that in? <laughs> yeah. That's a good yeah. one, but. He's been using Brand X. Nate, you can you steal. <laughs> That's what? That was hard. I don't know, <laughs> <laughs> the I answer, know those actors, but I don't know that movie. The answer is The Boys from Brazil. Ooh, I boys never heard of that. All right. That's okay. All right, uh, Trevor, Comedy, action, adventure, or horror sci-fi for Neat? Sci-fi. Sci-fi. Okay, here we go. 
Resetting the clocks. Here we go. Oh, sorry, Nate. Let me reset again. All right, here we go. What was the 2012 prequel to Alien called? Prometheus. Love that Joker. Okay, because you guys are like battling here to the, so I gotta get quick. All right, that's right. Here we go. Uh, um, let's give him. Uh, let's give him. You know what? Let's give him action. I'll let him have action. No, you know what? I want to keep that. I'm gonna give him. Uh, I'm gonna give him comedies and cartoons. <laughs> Comedy cartoons. <laughs> True. I'm stick with my strat. All right, here we go. True or false? Mm -hmm. Steve Martin both wrote and starred in the 1999 film Bowfinger. The one that you really oh, hate. <laughs> just talked about this the other day. <laughs> yeah. False. You're False. locking that in? All right, here we go. He's been using Brand X. Steve Martin did write and starred in Bullfinger. Um, All right, well, let's just get this over with. Ask me my last question so I can get it right. And we can get this man off the screen, the paper champion. <laughs> uh, action and adventure. Here we uh, go. Let's do it. What child? This is so rigged. This, is, this whole thing is rigged right now. <laughs> Huh? Oh my gosh. Spoken like a true loser. He said it's rigged. It's, the whole thing is rigged. He said it's rigged. It's rigged. It can't be rigged. What children's book yeah. did Peter Jackson turn into a trilogy of movies? The Hobbit. He's been Love that Joker. Joker. Yeah. Oh you, my. You got That's it. a two zip defeat. All but right. You know what? He says it's rigged. You know, you what? know what? Look, I'm going to do I'm going to grab one yeah. from the bottom. I, I thought we were picking the categories, the though. We did. You did. Like we talked about. I picked one, though. Oh, I didn't he's pick saying, music he, and the 80s stuff that he's weak at. Oh, you want 80s. He wants to pick his own. He wants okay, to specialize okay. the game for all himself right, to try right. to win. All right. So let's yeah. do that. Let's, do, let's make right. it even. He already let's lost. Make it even. He, okay. he already lost. All right. But, all right. So here you go. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. With more, with more charity. For the paper champion, we have to let him There's pick no his charity. own questions. There's no charity. All right, I, 80s. I, I, know, I know Nick's weakness. Yeah. All right. Nick, I know your weakness. There's no charity here. No, you don't. No. You thought I was going to get that music one wrong. I bet you did. <laughs> All right. Here we go. <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm going to give you 80s. You, you, you just got it. <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> All right, here we go. 80s. Movies, TV, music, famous people, and events, tech, uh, trends, and fun, and stranger things. Try Burrow. Yeah, pick your category, man. Is this for me or for him? <laughs> for you. No, no. You, you. you wanted your own. To, yeah, I'm giving you your own. Oh. I need you to redeem yourself. <laughs> Let's go I, with music. I'm trying to help you out. <laughs> 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 All right. What colorful phrase that means unexpected was the name of the Doobie Gibson I mean, Debbie Gibson's first album in 1987. Yeah, try, bro. Tell us about Debbie Gibson, my man. <laughs> 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 this is not rigged. Uh, what colorful <laughs> phrase that means unexpected was the name of Debbie Gibson's first album in 1987? Her first hit was... <clears throat> I don't know. <laughs> Nate? I forgot. I, bro, I, I she had one hit. I forgot. I, I forgot the one hit. It was called uh, Out of the Blue. Oh, man. That was it. That was a hit. All right. I'm going to take. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take movies. From the I'm 80s? I'm going to one, but I'm going right. to take movies. Movies. Huh. <sighs> Okay. What Australian folk hero gave up battling crocodiles in his ruined town of Walkabout Creek for the jungles of Manhattan in a nine, uh, in a hit of 1986 film? I've never even seen this movie, but I'm pretty sure the answer is Crocodile Dundee. Love that Joker. Oh, man. All right, unboxing. TV, famous. Give me people. a question like that, <laughs> huh? You're the one who picks. Okay, I, I can't. I, I can't. You're the one who's picking. <laughs> Why do you want the biggest all them questions? <laughs> I'm giving you. This game is rigged, Joe. 
wait, wait, it, let me get it. Where, where's that question? That, you gave him an easy question like that. Where's, the, where's my easy question? I don't know. What, what do you want me to say? Like, all these are, are hard. <laughs> 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 he this was is the best. Question. I knew this exactly how this was gonna go. All right, you know you what? Know? I'll give you an easy one. In nine, and this is a TV. In 1986, what food was advertised by Clay Animation figures singing "I Heard It Through the Grapevine"? California raisins. Yes, you got that right. He got one right. Good okay. job. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Nate. Famous people, events, trends, tech, and fun or stranger oh, things. You know what? At this point, I mean, you know, I don't know. I already, I already proved my point. Let's go with the tech one, I guess. The tech one. Yeah. Known sure, as the Mega Drive in Japan, what was the name of Sega's pioneering 16-bit console when it came to North America in 1988? Now, even if you didn't finish the rest of that, I knew the answer just by Mega Drive, and it's the Sega Genesis. Correct. Of course it is. Huh? Hey, uh it's <laughs> Of course that's the answer. Listen, man. I, I know the know. answer. Of course it is. So, but you need to know the answer to your questions, not my question. Oh, man. All right, here we go. <laughs> this that, is That was a slick move, Nate. Famous people and events. <laughs> that was slick. I like that. Whatever. What was the first <laughs> Japanese automaker to produce cars in the U.S. during so in 1982 in Ohio factory that was making its motorcycles? Japanese automaker. Yamaha. I think I know this. Yamaha? Auto yeah. maker? They made they made motorcycles. They made motorcycles, Yamaha. They did. Yep, they made it. But it's Tell just, him he's wrong. Yeah, but Tell him he's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he got what, what's the aim? The, the 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 question was produce cars in the US. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I just heard. Um, I, I know. I, I was thinking the motorcycle. Time, timer, yeah. bro. Hit that timer. <laughs> okay. The answer. I is, bet you it's like Honda or something. It, it is Honda. It is Honda because yeah. listen to me. I tried to tell you guys. <laughs> I tried to tell everyone over the last three or five or mm -hmm. eight weeks that this man you was going around flaunting his paper championship because we gave him a charity because win. I knew the answers you knew I the knew same answers. amount as me it wasn't you didn't charity beat me I know you myself beat me. no apparently Wrong. not because you, if we you, were going you by right game now, plan you came in with game plan you were smart about that yeah the score today is five to salute one. to you that you, is you came in with game plan I like plan. to call a beat down. We ain't tying no more, man. <laughs> we, we, we ain't tying ever again. You'll never beat me in this game as long no. as we play this game. You need to do like unboxing. Never say never. For a couple more never weeks. Never say never. And then come back. He's right. Never oh. say never. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm boxing okay, okay. a little bit younger than me. I know my stuff. That's true. That's true. Unboxing is 13. So that's why he didn't want to play. And I understand. And that's okay. Triboro, I respect you very much. I'm still going to give you a code if you want it. I have Just Mercy. I don't know if you have that movie. I, I respect <laughs> but, you for playing that card. Um, I respect you for playing that card. Yeah. Listen. Respect to you. Strategy I respect goes you for a long that. way. You, were smart. There's, you know there's, what? There's more than knowing you guys, the answer. You, you guys are, 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 are big in wrestling, right? Nate yes. likes wrestling. Yes. Jiggle likes wrestling. Two yes. weeks from now, we'll do a wrestling Ooh. Try trivia. And that shit is not rigged because I don't know nothing about it. And I'm gonna get. Well, this questions. one wasn't. This one wasn't rigged. Oh no, Don't this one, one wasn't rigged. rigged. They just we didn't know your question. The same way that James yeah. played and the same way that Jay played. So, yeah. So yeah, it, was, it was even. But I'll get a yeah, W. I'll you. get a WWE trivia question game, and okay. then you guys will answer it. Now, if you guys don't okay. know it, that ain't my fault. Too but bad. You're dumb. Yes, <laughs> I will say. You guys will come back in two weeks with wrestling trivia. Okay, now you want a specific era, Triboro? Because <laughs> I don't know if I hit you with 50s and then you go, I yeah, wasn't around. Be like, he's going to say yeah, 1988 yeah. specifically. Which one? 
He said any era. He's, any era. Any era. Okay, so then bam, I'll get yeah. any era wrestling, and yes. then we're good to go. All right, here we go. All right, what, you want to do one more? You want to fight give one him a, more? Just give him a no, because I've already proven my point. But you not can him. I'm talking about someone else. Do you want to face someone oh. else? Or that's it. I still want to play unboxing, but he's very scared. Yeah, he's uh, chicken. Um, uh, Triboro, which one do you want? Rec Room for Dream or Judge Dread? Oh, he just broke wow. out. He said bye. He just <laughs> he just left. He said, "You know what? I can't show my face anymore. I gotta get out of here. I he, can't be. I'm not proud of this performance." He pulled out. I was gonna give him a actually good movie, but he left. I'll send him just. I don't know if he wants just mercy or not, but I'll send it to him for playing. He gets the consolation prize, just like everybody else, you know. Paper champion, consolation prize. That's how it works. Yeah. I don't know what happened to Triborough. He disappeared. He just dipped. Yeah. Interesting. I think he went to sleep. And I put him out. I think you trash talked him evil. <laughs> David from Flicks Talk. David said, Nate's trash talking is pretty immaculate. <laughs> yeah. It's Listen, pretty good. I grew up. You got into I grew people's, up with, uh, under people's nerves. I, I grew up with all older cousins who used to like to play video games with me and um you know sharpen my my tools uh for both video game playing and trash talking yeah had to hang in there you know had to had to hold my own against older people so i just carried that on <laughs> but especially when i get a target like one mr triborough gigolo i must i mean i i had to end him i had to end him uh, you know, he was going around saying he beat me, never beat me. We gave him some free codes because we said, you know what, this show's running long. I feel bad. Let's give him these codes. You're evil. And, uh, and he, he Trevor chose to that, DM me and I'll give you him. a code. That is so evil. You're evil. <laughs> Generous so Al. Evil. Uh, coming through with the gifts. No, yeah. Triborough is, I, I like Triborough. Uh, all jokes aside, he's a good opponent. He knows a lot of stuff. All right, we'll take uh, one more. We'll tonight. take one more. And then... We'll take one more. Unboxing. He's scared. He needs like 10 months to, to, to get four yeah, questions. So, he oh, said, James Perez won. He, he, doesn't, he doesn't want the code. He just wants to beat me. <laughs> I See? want Nate. All right. So, the wrestling. I'll get the wrestling. <laughs> yeah, the wrestling. Will be I'll get good. the wrestling. Yeah. Um, all right. Anybody there. wants to face him, hit the click of the link. Have some fun. Let's do this. Come on, guys. Anybody. I will not talk trash. I promise. I will just play. You don't have to be on camera. You people are chicken. No. You don't yeah. have to. Stephanie's here. Stephanie, let's play trivia. Oh, whack let's a butcher. Oh, oh, here. oh. Okay, I like this guy. I respect, I respect him very much. He's out of everyone that we know. Everyone yeah. that we knew, he picked directors. And that That's took, right. That took guts. Yeah. He got and a I lot like of guts. guts. I respect him. I like to, I like to eat guts. <laughs> All right. Uh, Stephanie weird. said she does not want to play. Okay, never mind. We won't play that. All right, here we go. Uh, all right, Wacka Butcher. How you doing? What's popping? I'm doing good. How about you guys? Oh, we're doing great. Doing Nate, well, man. Nate is popping junk like always. So I have to take care of your boy. I had to take care of your boy there. I hope you saw that. Man, I'm not gonna lie. That was sweep him, sweep that was him under the. <laughs> I have nothing but the most respect for Tribe, but that was embarrassing. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> no, turn all his friends against him. That's oh it. Oh my god! Okay, here we go, guys. We're gonna have some fun. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna finish the questions. I'll throw the 30 second clocks. You guys know what to do. So, right. Nate, pick his topic. Um, let's give him. <laughs> I think y'all know where this is going. Let's give him drama and musical. Although, I've seen some of the stuff he's been watching. I believe he watches dramas. So, I, I, he got a good shot here. All right, he does. Yeah. Here we go. Who said you can't handle the truth in what movie? Oh, Jack Nicholson. In what and, movie? Fuck, that's a movie now. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know it's Jack Nicholson. I don't remember the movie, though. It's something about like the military, right? Like the government. They're in yes. a courtroom. I know yes. that. I don't remember the Ooh, name. You're of the describing movie. it really well. Yeah, really well. Tom title. Cruise was there too. If you want <laughs> me to throw it in, Demi, Demi, Demi Moore also. Demi, Demi Moore, Moore looking all nice yeah. and jiggy. Ooh. 
I'm looking fine. All right, five. I know that four, scene. I don't know three, the, name of the movie. Two, one. Fuck. That's not a movie. Okay. You got, <laughs> you got, all right. Here we go. Name any movie. Name any movie. Any movie. The, the Jack warm, Nicholson like, movie. The, the, this is like this is wait I'm just gonna say platoon because that's a war movie I know that all right that's wrong yeah Nate yeah. for the steal yeah a few good men Jack Nicholson in a few good men there you go all I right know that scene I don't know why oh you man the title. I, I know you, you know, knew it because you were describing it I that hope was like James with Silver Linings Playbook you know sometimes I you know. hope you don't get waxed like John Burrow right now because. <laughs> Yeah, but at least you knew it. At least you knew it. Yeah, at you least did, you knew you were it. On the track. All right, yeah. you pick Nate's category. Um, you know I'm gonna give him since he says he he saves action for last. Let's do that first action. Oh, Ooh. that's a, see, that's a good strategy. Man. He comes with strategies and game plans. See, you're thinking, you're thinking. All right, here we go. Action okay. and adventure. Oh, okay. Who starred yep. as Achilles in 2004? Troy. Brad Pitt. Correct. All right. See, that was that was easy. That was easy. That was easy. But I got it one wrong earlier. Yeah. Remember, I didn't know that Indiana Jones one. So that's true. All right. Either way. Horror All right, um, or comedy. Now, I from I'm trying to think from what I've seen that he posts as far as what he's watching. I haven't seen many of either of these type of movies. So I'm gonna take a shot in the dark and I'm gonna give him horror sci-fi. Horror right. sci-fi. Yes, yeah, for yep. try. Uh, uh, unboxing says I don't get scared of getting things wrong. I am worried that Alex and Nate are going to <laughs> ask me hard questions of movies I have never seen before. Bless you. That's not true. I asked everyone. I asked everyone decent questions so far. Well, and they're what easy. What you guys gotta know is this is a game that we that he bought. It's just cards. So we yeah, don't even know the, I brought the, the card already. game. Yeah, yeah, it's not my me doing this. Like I randomly <laughs> stood here and said Jack Nichols in a good few men. <laughs> All right, yeah. here we go. Horror and sci-fi. Are you ready? Yeah, horror and sci-fi. Yeah, yeah. All right, here we go. True or false? The mask of Michael Myers in Halloween is based on a mask of Bill Paxton. False. Oof. Ooh, right Correct. Right. Yeah, you got it right. There we go. I mean, everyone heard Ralph talk about it a hundred times, so yeah. Yeah, he I mean, won't shit. shut up about it. Yeah, you shut up, Ralph. All right, here we go. <laughs> uh, comedy, yeah, I guess, is the final one. That's the last so, one. All right, here we go. In the Hunger Games, the bachelor party ended up with a tiger in their hotel room belonging to which boxer? Oh, I know this. It's Mike Tyson. Correct, Amundo Matumbo. All right. Now, that's a that three is, to one victory for me. That is. But just for playing, if you would like, I have this digital code of Just Mercy. I don't know if you already have this movie or not, but I have a digital code. Oh, I can give you. Uh, I can give you. Or Alex can give you one. He has a million. Uh, Wait, Alex, you said you had collateral, right? I got collateral. Ooh. Can yes, I take I that one? Can I take that one? Yeah, of course. Heck yeah, that's a great movie. I watched that for the first time like a couple of days ago. It was it's one of my favorite um, by Michael Mann. L.A. He films L.A. so well, Michael Mann. It's like it becomes a whole character itself, you know. For he is just a phenomenal film. <laughs> We gotta have a we gotta have Whack of the Butcher on here for like a like a movie review or something. Alex said you said One Hunger day. Games. I never said Hunger Games. Hunger Games for what? Oh, you said for uh, I think you meant for the Hangover instead. You said the Hunger Games, but I knew what you were talking about. <laughs> I said so. Hunger Games. I said the Hangover. No, no, you said Hunger Games. I heard that too. You said Hunger what? Games, but once you started describing the movie, I knew you meant the Hangover, so I just answered it. <clears throat> I okay. It don't matter. Uh, Whatever, we got it. <laughs> Okay, I guess. All right. Uh, I, guess I think I he's right, it. though. You did say that. I was nervous. Because you said the I bachelor did. party in the Hunger Games, and I'm like, wait, there wasn't a bachelor party in that. And then once you finish the question, I was like, okay. All right, so um, I, I collateral. For, yeah, for congratulations. You got collateral for yourself, my friend. Um, so James got Hustlers tonight, just to wrap up for what everybody won. Jay, got to send you glass. James beat me tonight. Fair and square. Uh, we did go to sudden death. It was an epic battle. And we unboxing, had to ride it out. And unboxing is all like, oh, I don't know. Uh, unboxing <laughs> said he's scared of the questions. I don't know um, why. Those things are like yeah. Dr. Seuss questions. Yeah. You know, the only ones that we've gotten wrong, I mean, there's like, there'd be like one 
moderately difficult ones sprinkled in. But for the most part, they're pretty straightforward. I think they're yeah. fair uh, across the board. Um, Whack of the Butcher, good job. Thank you for joining Great in. Great job, man. pleasure. Yep. Yeah. yeah. And you guys, maybe you could send a tribro a lullaby or something like that. Yeah. He's, he's got me sad tonight. He's, that he's was... gonna have a rough night sleeping. Yeah, rough night, <laughs> rough night. Uh, that was great. Yeah. He said, "Unboxing um, said, oh no, they're they aren't Alex. Oh my God, those are not hard questions. Mm -mm -mm. You got to stop watching Marvel movies to to know these questions. <laughs> More to, mo yeah. to movies sure. than Marvel. All right, thank you For so that. much." All right. All right. Thank you. Right. Guys. Peace out. Later. So there you no have it. No one wants this digital code of just mercy. I'm about to send it to a random person in the chat right now. If you want a digital code of just mercy, let's ask a random trivia question. Whoever types it in first. Okay. Let's give it to them. I'll do it. All right. Don't Google, guys. I mean, I know we can't see you, so you better have quick fingers. Alex, go ahead and ask. Like, Put up a physical copy. What? Physical copy of what? For what? Someone was gonna win a physical copy or something but if they you double didn't, or you nothing. Didn't win. Yeah. yeah, you gotta win to but get any copy of anything. I could have put five physical copies and you people still would have not passed the first round. <laughs> 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 like, <what? laughs> James was like, the only one who had the opportunity to play yeah. for a physical copy. Yeah. All right, uh, put a random trivia question in there, and like from the from let's make it from the '80s one. The '80s? Okay. Yeah. Do the '80s one. And the winner, if you want, please only answer if you want to win. Just mercy, because if you if you if you just answer the question, you already have it or something, then that's pointless. So if you want to win it, let's go ahead and do just mercy. Alex is gonna ask a question. First one to type it in the chat correctly wins. All right, here we go. Which one do you want it from? Movie, TV, music? Uh, yeah, let's do let's do move movies. I feel like that's the most kind of broad one usually for our, you know the people here you sure what do you think you think there'll be one that's so easier you, i could i don't know i, I mean it. at this point i mean i should just dr seuss it for everybody <laughs> i mean geez who who is the director of what's the real Jaws? you know what yeah i'll I'm make it even it simpler for the dr seuss people in this is music. In the in his biggest hit of 1986, what zone does Kenny Loggins sing about taking a highway into? All right. If you want to win Just Mercy, go ahead and tell us the highway. The, of the zone that Kenny Loggins <laughs> wants. The, Robert makes a cut, says danger. He was the, was he the first one. Yeah, he beat BX Lenny's by about half a second. Jeez. And, and Triboro. Jose says that to hell. That's not correct. That, that's not um, right. All right, Robert. You won just mercy. Do you do you, if you do you want it? Because if you don't want it, I'm gonna go to the next person down. Unboxing says he doesn't know this one. Uh, well, he wasn't wasn't born yet. No, he wasn't. You wasn't. You wasn't, he wasn't <laughs> in the danger zone. You weren't even in the danger zone. Not even close. Nope. Robert, do you want just mercy? Because if not, it's gonna go to BX Lenny's. All right, I give one more. Mm -hmm. One more. Yeah, ask one more. All right, here we go. In what 1985 movie do Gary and White feed pictures of models, Beethoven, Einstein, and Houdini into a computer to create the dream girl? Oh, I like this movie. What's the movie? She was she was hot. She was hot. She was hot. Triboro, look at him. He knows something. He said weird Science. That is the correct wow. Answer. He knew something. He knew something. He knew, I knew he knew something. Look at that. He beat Jonathan McCoy to it. He beat Robert to it. JB he said beat, no. Beat I said Lenny Danger JB. Zone first. I see. I don't. All right. I'm gonna scroll up. I'm gonna scroll up because it's right here in the chat. There's no way to. Yeah, I don't so know how to determine. JB was third. Robert said Danger. BX Lenny's then said Danger, and JB then said Danger according to the chat here. All that right. was the order they came in. Hmm. All right, here goes. And then Triboro is next. All right, everyone, clear your minds. I'm going to do one more. One more. Open your mind. Open yeah. your mind. Here we go. <laughs> what year did the Weather Channel launch on cable TV? And don't look it oh. up and Google oh. it or nothing like that. Hurry up. That's a, that's a disgusting question. Bronze Lenny said 1987. Okay, 89, 95. 95. 
87 again, 80, 85, 80, 85. He meant, I think he meant 85 instead of 95. Uh, those are all absolutely wrong. <laughs> Ooh, no one's gotten it yet. Yo, just start typing in some years. Yeah, throw in some years. It's in the 80s. Wrong. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Wrong. Dang. James. Wrong. <laughs> <With> the 90s. <laughs> wrong. Wacker Butcher got it, 82. Hey! Wacker the Butcher. He, Wacker he said the process butcher. of elimination. No one said 82 yet. Nope. Gotta be it. All right, so there All you right. have it. So Wacker the Butcher. Uh, Let me see. He's going to be a two-time winner? He won collateral already. Yeah, he got collateral, but now this is going to be... Let's see what I got here. Unboxing, unboxing, but 1980, 1981, 1982, 1980, <laughs> all the years. If you could have typed that out faster, you, you could have won. All right, I'm going to give you Collateral and Atomic Blonde. Ooh. All right, Charlize. who won? Uh, oh, Paper Champ won, right? He, uh, Triborough won for the... Um, the other one. What was the question? The movie one. Weird Science. Weird yeah. Science. So, Triboro, yeah. you're going to get 310 to Yuma. Learn some knowledge. He said, He said, I don't want it. Huh? He said, oh, he wants want to it. beat you. That's what it is. Yeah, he wants to beat you. I'm just too proud. You know, uh, that's, that's just pride talking. Uh, who He's else? trying won? to give you some free movies. Who, who else? And, uh... and the next person, let's see who is next after him. Was it JB? Let me scroll up. It, uh, weird science it was jonathan mccoy jonathan did mccoy won um he won. Yeah. all right let's see you know what i'll give him 310 to yuma didn't he say he liked westerns he hasn't seen much when we were yeah. talking to patreons i believe so yeah you know what uh jonathan i'll 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 give you tomorrow night live i'll give you 310 to yuma you have 310 to Yuma. Jonathan McCoy. All right. So. <clears throat> this looks like this is going to spawn into something else. <laughs> <laughs> no, Triborough, listen. All jokes aside. Triborough is a good dude. Comes on here once a month. Uh -oh. Good buddy. New York Mets fan and Yankees fan, really. New York Knicks fan. Uh, good guy. Really like him. I just had to show. You cannot beat me in trivia. Um, you know? And he went, you know, he went. Trevor went right to the well. These, this game is rigged. These questions are rigged. You know, it's not. We just played the same game everyone else played. It was fair. And I won. Do but you all right? So this up. is a That's question it. I will say. Do you guys want yeah. to do a versus of each other? This is Nate Stein's movie where you face Nate. But I'm saying, do you right. want to do oh, one against time each against each other? You call out whoever Ooh. you want on the chat, and you guys will go at it for cool prizes. I like that. I so would love could, to see a versus yeah. of Jay and Robert. If I could suggest, that's up to them. Yeah, I would love to see Jay and Robert. I would love to see Whack of the Butcher against Triborough Gigolo. That's a I think good that would be one. a lot of fun. I, I would like matchup. to see Stephanie versus Becklish. The two oh, females. The girls facing off. Yeah, yeah, the girls go at it. Yeah. Uh, I would like to see Ralph against Unboxing. <laughs> 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 that, would be, that would be a lot of fun. That's I, my dream matches, but you know what? I'll, they could call out whoever they, they want to face off. So let's all right. see what we said. Uh, Wacker Butcher said he's down for it. I'd love to face off. Call it the screw here. job. Hey, that's oh a good my gosh. Yikes. All right. So there yeah. we have it. Okay. Look, yeah. We'll this, do that. That's how we're going to do it. Next week's episode. No. Two weeks from now. We'll do. I'm not playing in this game, James. This is a separate game. Oh, James against James against Robert would be good. That's they're a good both one winners. Too. Yeah, they're, they're good. the only yeah. two who have won Nate Stein's movies. So I will get more trivia stuff. Up. I'll get more trivia stuff, whether it's a, a Marvel one if you people want, or another one. So the people think if this is too easy, I will get a harder one.
Um, how is Backlash gonna beat you when you have a movie channel? That makes no sense. <laughs> Back Backlash is she's pretty good though. She knows. No, she I know she is, stuff. but I'm saying yeah. is, is she doesn't have a YouTube channel. That's true. Um, that all right, true. so look, two weeks from now, it's gonna be Nate versus Tribal Gigolo for a WWE trivia battle uh, royale. Then yeah. followed by you guys f- calling each other out. Face it, this Ooh. is called the Royal oh. Rumble Trivia Night. That's what no, I'm No, I like BX Lenny's name. What? The Nate's March Mat. We got March Madness going on with the college basketball. Yeah. Let's call it, we'll call it March Movie Madness. March Movie Madness. Month. That's right. And I like it. We got Wacka already telling. Try, bro, to put some respect on my name. <laughs> we got, we got uh, Robert. Jay said Robert versus Jay round two. Try, bro, says you're going to need more decades to beat me. At oh, he said show. whatever, bro. You don't want it. Okay, All right. I like it. Okay. I like this. This is going to be fun. All right, so I'm going to get Marvel trivia for those Marvel fans out there. I'm going to get a WWE <laughs> one. And maybe one more to, to, to even it out. Question. So yeah. just and before we end, you got you Jay, what you said right there. Do you want me and Alex to make a bracket and like Ooh, see like you quick guys. in the dead? Yeah, like make a bracket oh. and seed you guys and then winner, 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 like to the ultimate uh and this is not Nate Science movies. This is y'all community yeah. versus community yeah. only. Um, and we'll, we'll have a prize. No, we'll, we'll have a win. really we'll have a big a really big just prize. Just for the one winner though. Yeah, yeah. yeah not if you guys would like yeah. that, say uh, bracket. Yeah, say bracket in the yeah. in the chat. Yeah, a bracket. And so, if you'd like to participate. Third place will get two movies, digital. Second yeah. place will get five digital movies. And then first place will win a physical of something. It could be a box set. It could be a, a steel books. Ooh, we don't write down who's saying bracket because I don't want to forget. So we got James. We got. All right. Yeah. Put your names. Uh, Yeah. Put your names on the hat Jay. now. So I don't want other people to join in. And then they all of a sudden. Yeah. Pick it, your names in. Wacka the butcher. Yeah. Put Wack butcher in. BX Lenny said it. That means he wants to play. I'm going to write him down. BX. Okay. It's up to him. He, uh, okay, I know no, he's, he's working, in. so I don't know if he could do it. I just think he said okay. idea, but ask him. Okay. Put it in there. Uh, Put bracket if you Jimmy, want to be you in wanna, the bracket. Ju- yeah, Jimmy, you want to be part of it? You say bracket. It's up to you. I didn't see Robert say it, but I know Robert wants to be in it, so I'm going to yeah. write him down. Robert. All right, we got four. I would prefer if we had eight, so we could go yeah. eight, four, two. Put uh, me in, coach. Oh, he yeah. said put him in. All right, yeah. so that's five. All right. Uh, unboxing? You, in on, you, you want to get in on the bracket? Yeah. Uh, you want in? I mean, there will be Marvel stuff. So if you want, I'll, yeah. I'll have Marvel stuff. So if you feel comfortable with that, then yes. But just to let you know, if you make it to the top, Triborough, are you in? Triborough hasn't said nothing. He yeah, put tri- a I, face I, looking I, sideways. Yeah, I don't know. Triborough, I don't know. Is he in? Or is he Robert's in? Jose. Oh, Jose's getting in oh, there. Oh, Jose's like in it. Yes. That is what I like to see. Yo, there's 19 right, one, people two, three, four, watching five, this freaking cast <laughs> put your name in man Bra- one, bracket two, three, four. we have six we need two more no i mean if there's 19 people oh unboxing said yes okay all right i Got will un- unboxing master don't Chibro put me says, up against don't... a teenager oh my god okay, it's random we'll start you off against no no we, well we're gonna make me and alex are gonna make the brackets yeah, yeah. we won't start you against a teenager since you requested i'm gonna put triborough in he's gonna he wants to play we're still gonna do our WWE one. Don't worry. Yeah, you get whooped in that, and then you get whooped in the others. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Tribro's in horror and coffee. You play Ralph. Ralph, are you in? in? Come on, Ralph. I know you know stuff. Come on, guys. There's 19 people watching this. Do you want to be in the bracket? This is fun. This is actually a we fun have, community we, thing. We have eight. All Ralph right, Ralph is, is in. in. James. James. Come on, James. James, are you in? You play. Oh, James said winner. bracket. James said bracket. Bracket. Oh, James said bracket. Me. Okay. okay. James, who else? James, who we got? Whack of the Butcher. Robert, uh, Jimmy, Jose, Unboxing, Triborough, Ralph. That's what, I need at least one more because we Stephanie. need an even number. Stephanie. Stephanie. 
How about Becky? Oh, no, no, no. You know what? We'll, I don't want to we'll talk to her I'm after. Her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I got to I gotta talk to her. I, I doubt it, but I'll ask her. All right. Who's the mysterious? Can we get one more? We need one more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have nine. We need at least... We, we need, need one at least more. one more. I can't do it because I'm asking you questions. Otherwise, question. otherwise but... if we get nobody else... We have nine people. One person will get a bye week. We'll flip a coin. It'll be either yeah. James or Robert since they've won Nick Stein's movie. They'll get a bye in the first round. And then the other eight, we'll have to figure it out from there. Or two people get a bye or something. I don't know. I don't like an odd number because it makes it weird. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody. Come on. One more before we go. Come on, guys. 19 people. Jonathan McCoy. You want to play some trivia? Uh, who else? Who else is in here? Who else we, we got very, JB. Very quiet. I know I saw JB. JB, come you on. You got Flix talk. Where's, where, where's David at? David, hey, David, come where's on. Where's David at? Is he still here? David, get in on this trivia. I know he knows. I know JB stuff. is here. Come on. With 10, I would need two by. Yes, that is true, but at least it will be easier to. To make the bracket then with nine. Nine's such a weird number. Yeah. Oh. JB oh. says okay. All right. So JB's right. in. JB's right. in. We've got a JB. All right. So we're going to give two bye weeks. Two bye weeks. Just like real I'm basketball. So you, we're yeah. not doing this all in one night. We're, we're going to do like a real basketball. Whoever wins the following week will continue. <laughs> yeah. Um. So we'll figure out the bracket. We will next week. We will announce the bracket. Yeah, okay? next week we'll we're gonna put give it you up. guys like like two weeks to prepare. We're gonna we're gonna announce the bracket, and then the following week, I think you know at that point, I think we should play. We should we should let the games begin. Oh no, the games begin. Yeah, 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 right yeah, after yeah. That. yeah. So we, we got gonna... just so we make sure we got JB. All right, JB. We got James Perez. Okay. We got Jay Manley. We got Whack of the Butcher. We got Robert from Robert Makes a Cut. We got BX Lenny's, a.k.a. Jimmy, a.k.a. Jay Gonzaga, a.k.a. all the a.k.a.s he got. He's playing. <laughs> we got <laughs> we got Jose, the wrestling fan. He's coming to try to beat somebody. Here he comes. Watch out. We got unboxing. My main man unboxing. My other main man, Triborough Gigolo. And, of course, Ralph from Horror and Coffee, as he likes to say. It. That's a pretty good impression, I think. That is Horror good. and Coffee. 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 He will be there. Um, so that will be the bracket. And you guys will just play trivia. I think what we should do, Alex, we uh, we should let them play how we play Nate Steins. But we'll flip a coin in each match to see. We'll do a heads or tails to see who gets to pick, you know, pick the question first and so on and so forth. That way it's even. Yeah. But we will see. We will see you guys with numbers. Uh, and then we will we'll, put we'll, you both on the screen from with the verses yep. in the middle. Yep. And then we'll have fun. Yeah, that's it. Unboxing. We're not playing Nate Stein before the bracket. The bracket is uh, Nate Stein's is on temporary hold. I mean, me and Triborough are going to play the wrestling match. Yeah. But uh, that that game is going to be on hold for this game because we want you guys to face each other. It's more fun. You guys yeah, yeah, yeah. It's more for the community know, right you know. now to have yeah, everyone yeah. go against each other. We have a good time with y'all and let y'all have a good time and and do some trivia. We could get more of you in at one time. So, um, those are my those are the names. Well, I guess we'll just close it there. Yeah, yeah. We ended it. All right. So there you have it, guys. That's what we're going to be doing uh, two weeks from now. The big movie madness. Levels of yes. Geeks movie madness. There you go. I'm excited, bro. The March excited, Levels of Geeks fun. movie. Madness. Now, I don't know what it means. Nate, I have an idea for the big prize, and I'll talk to Nate afterwards yeah. uh, on it, and then he'll tell me yes or no. But yep. with that said, guys, thank you so much uh, for tonight. I hope you enjoyed tonight's episode. Of course, hit the like button if you enjoyed this. Um, hit the notification bells because we're going to be doing a lot of lives. Uh, Wednesday is St. Paddy's Day. Me and David are going to be reviewing Leprechaun, the first movie Ooh. for. Uh, <laughs> plus, we have other stuff that we're going to be talking about, of course. But it's going to be St. Paddy's Day. We're going to be wearing green. Most likely, I'm going to be wearing my Green Lantern shirt uh, oh, for nice. green. Um, Just hold the Green Lantern that you have. The whole yeah, show. like that. The whole thing. <laughs> um, on Friday, me and Ralph is back at 11 o'clock p.m. 
with our horror. Uh, yeah, I can't. I'm today. I can't pronounce it. Horror, horror hour. <laughs> Uh, Friday night, and then DC Forever is not this Saturday. The following Saturday, me and Jimmy's back at uh, 10 a.m. in the morning with our Good Morning Gotham, which he has some surprises for you guys early that day, which he I'll let him explain on that day. But again, guys, and Unveil the Grail is this Saturday. I'm going to be opening up um, the DC Universe and unboxing the Bane and putting it together for you guys live. So that's going to be pretty fun. But we got a lot of lives coming out throughout the week, so if you guys are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Um, if you enjoy the channel as a whole, we have a great community, as you can see. Um, guys, you can start popping junk on Instagram tag levels of geeks and start popping junk to each other because I, I want to create chaos. Who, who faces who first? Yeah. You know what I mean? That they're going to start talking trash to each other. Yeah, start popping junk with each other on Instagram. Yeah. Tag levels of geeks on levels of geeks movie madness. Uh, hashtag Levels of Geeks Movie Madness. All right, that's a pretty good one. March Movie yeah. Madness. March Movie Madness. March um, Madness. and M. yeah, there you go. And start popping junk with each other. That's gonna be yeah. pretty fun. Um, All I fun. already started popping junk with Warner Brothers, but that's a different situation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're popping real serious. I junk was popping junk serious junk with them, and we're never yeah. gonna get screeners or, or actors coming on this <laughs> channel because of me. But <laughs> nope. with that said, um, Nate, it was a great night. Was a great yeah, game. a lot yeah. of fun. You know, mm -hmm. I lost. I had the the uh, the thrill of victory and the agony of defeat all in one night. We talked about Charlotte Flair. You know, we told some jokes. Uh, it was a good time. It was a very good time. No, it was a good time. You know, daylight savings time flew because it's two hours, and I did not feel like this was a two-hour show. Um, yeah. But again, guys, look, thank you so much for tonight. Um, and again, unboxing Jose, Wacker Butcher, Ralph. Um, yeah. Triborough Gigolo, Braun BX Lenny, Robert, James Perez, uh, I'll buy the popcorn Stephanie, um, JB, uh, uh, Jonathan McCoy, um, trying to name everybody that's with us live now. Tony Movie Chappie, yep. I saw on the chat. Yep. Whew. Uh, I think that's. Uh, Transformer Cons was here. Transformer Cons was here yep. also. Um,. Uh, I think that's pretty much it, right? Yep, that's David? pretty much it. David, David from Flix Talk. Yeah. There you go, guys. Tomorrow he's on. Tomorrow at oh, yeah. he changed his time, right? I don't remember his new time. Is it five p.m. eight o'clock Eastern? Uh, maybe. Is it eight o'clock? Check his other show. Check I, out his uh, yeah. physical his physical media show. Yes, he's nice. ten minutes. Great. Yes, physical media. Um, he has it right now live on his channel. So check yep. that out. And again, all the Patreons: uh, Pablo Lafrosia, Jonathan McCoy, Priscilla Vasquez, Charles Woods. I'll buy the popcorn. Stephanie, Jay Manley, Becklish, Robin makes a cut. Happy birthday to you, my friend, and Kevin. Uh, thank you for all the supporters out there. Um, I'm going to have some fun. Tracy, uh, soundboard. shout out to Tracy. She is on. And James Tracy. White, Tracy. Yes. Yeah, shout out to her. And shout out for Tracy for winning. Hustlers. And for scaring and for telling James that he better go for the double or nothing or he has to sleep on the floor. That's right. And oh, yeah. for uh, <laughs> Robert, this is for you, yep. my friend. I'm going to have me some fun. I'm going to have me some fun. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, guys. Look, be awesome to each other. Geek out. And I can't wait to see you guys next week and see what kind of junk popping you guys are going to be doing throughout. So yes. catch you later.